This podcast is part of the Deluxe Edition Network. To find other great shows on the network, head over to deluxeeditionnetwork.com. That's deluxeeditionnetwork.com. A funny thing happened to William and Stanley on their way to college. At what point did you shoot the clerk? They got framed for murder. Whoa! Wait a minute! Now, two kids from New York are in deep trouble. It's time to make your phone call. The clan's here. They're in bread. They sleep with their sisters. In the deep south. Some of them do. And only one man can save them. You need to call an attorney, a great attorney. He's not your typical hero. We got an attorney in the family. Great, who? He's... My cousin Vinny. You stick out like a sore thumb around here. Oh, yeah, you blend. You graduated from law school six years ago. What have you been doing since? Studying for the bar. That's a lot of studying. What's this over here? You never heard of grits? Sure. I used to actually never seen a grit before. It's his first case. Now, they're not telling you dress appropriately. You were serious about that? The way you handled that, Judge. Oh, you're a smooth talker. You are. It's their last chance. The two youths. Did you say youths? Yeah, two youths. What is a youth? But with Vinny's style, I wore this ridiculous thing for you. And Vinny's girlfriend. We agreed to get married as soon as you won your first case. My biological clock is ticking like this. And the way this case is going, I ain't never getting married. They're dead meat. May I have permission to treat Ms. Vito as a hostile witness? Do you think I'm hostile now? Wait till you see me tonight. Joe Pesci is my cousin Vinny. You two know each other? Yeah, she's my fiance. Well, that would certainly explain the hostility. Hey, nerds, it's Sammy, and this is Barrel Age Chicks. Let's do this. Tonight on panel, we have. <laughs> Snow. <laughs> I'm fine. And finally. Hi, this is Crystal, and I make everything awkward. Hello, <laughs> listeners, and welcome to another Aeros episode of Barrel Age Chicks. An episode. An episode. I think I got bamboozled. Oh, oh, we have a dick in the house. We have the dick fa- is here. We have favorite. Yeah. Oh, whoa. <laughs> wow. Don't knock over the other dick. No, which you get to enjoy here in just a moment. I know. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to do that after our drink. Yes, definitely. So, yes. But we and have being punished early. the Ragnar <laughs> as our first official Barrel Age Chicks guest. Yes. Thank you, ladies. Yes. Very excited. Very excited for my cousin Vinny. Yes. My which, cousin Vinny. So which Snow excited. and Ragnar prepared to do together. Yes. Very, very excited. So very, this very is going to be super, super it's duper a great fun. great fucking movie. I love it. It is. So it is. Aren't you excited to be on our show? I am. Yes. Instead of us being on yours? I am. It's going to be go. fucking awesome. Yay. Yay. You're surrounded It'll by the And you get to set the standard. So now you'd be like, Ooh, up set, your steps, bitch. Set that right. bar high. Super high. It's what I do. There you go. <laughs> Duh. All well, right. Why don't you tell us about the drink? Have you met me yet? <laughs> I, uh, yeah. A little bit. A little couple bit. times. I, I know you quite well, sir. So, all right. So we got my cousin Vinny, right? Yes. So where are they taking, where's the movie take place? Alabama. Alabama. <laughs> so in. Uh, and in, where are in, the boys located? In the Slamma. So. The Slamma in Alabama. Alabama Slamma is our. Wonderful drink for it tonight. It looks so pretty. Sweet. Be glad I had mop, nothing to do with deal. this. Why? Why? Because my brain was like, oh man, wouldn't it be great if you put like, like tuna juice or something in there? Ew. Yeah. Because yeah. my brain's but, stuck on the tuna. But the drink no. is not supposed to be bad. A <laughs> it's not That'd be a fun for me. <laughs> tuna juice? To see everybody go, oh cool, yummy drink. Oh, actually, that is fishy. Oh, God. I feel, actually, I no. feel like there's some no. variation of a martini that does that. Well, oh, there's uh, like a dirty, dirty martini. Tuna yeah. juice? Yeah, I think so. And it's That's almost fucking like, disgusting. Well, I mean, it's, it's something. Doesn't Bloody Marys have clam juice in it? So yeah. it's kind of the same. It's kind of the yeah, same. Yeah, Kickback Jacks has ugh. like a straight pickle shot. It's vodka and uh, yeah. dill pickle oh, juice. Oh, pickleback? Oh, yeah, pickleback. Yeah. I've heard of that. I've some, not, not some had, I didn't know Marys that you had such an aversion to dill pickles. Clam juice in it. depends yeah. on where it you're at, It is a sour though. crunchy. I don't... Mm. Oh, I love me some dill pickles. Mm. <laughs> yum, yum. So, You what? like your pickle, Rick. Pickle, Rick! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Ragnar, what is in this delicious cocktail? All right, so you're not going to go to jail, so Smells don't good. worry. It looks um, pretty. So your, an original Alabama slamming Ooh. has um, Southern Comfort, uh, Slow Gin, Amaretto, Orange juice with uh, an orange slice for garnish. 
Unfortunately, slow gin I, is oh, thank like God, thank God goddamn <sighs> impossible to find here. What in the fuck is slow gin? It's obviously not fast gin. Did it lose a race? It's what is it? I mean, there's, so slow, there's so many slow jokes I want to make about it. It's like, like a sloth. <laughs> hey, you know. it's a sloth this gin. <laughs> you know. But no, I mean seriously. Do you know what? what yeah. Is so it? slow gin is a slow is a fruit. So it's what? a specific type. It's like a red gin. Slow so, is a fruit. Yeah. Is yeah. Fruit so named what slow? it is? I had it pulled up before. Hold on. Um, this is blowing my mind. Yeah. So slow gin. It's a British liqueur. It, it's made from gin itself with sloes, which is a fruit of Prunus spinosa, so the fruits? blackthorn from the blackthorn plant. That sounds super fancy. Yeah, it did. so it's a, it's actually a relative of the plum. That's what I was going to ask yeah. because it sounds plum adjacent by the name. Yep. Interesting. So unfortunately, but yeah, it's like a red liqueur. Yeah. Unfortunately, like um, the wars, right? Which. Um, is a lot of what you have in mixers, mm-hmm. right? It's fucking, which is, is um, that's one of the, the major ones that you'll see in like ABC stores and shit for us. But unfortunately, they don't have it. Okay. Uh, like nowhere in fucking the state of Virginia has this. Oh, interesting. So the alternative to this is uh, grenadine. Oh, well, there you go. So that's what I had on hand. Yeah. So that's what I threw in here. I mean, I, I did love... give you the pomegranate liqueur as a as a as an alternative, but you yeah. didn't want to do that one. No, because I I don't think it would taste right. Yeah, pomegranates so... have a very particular particular taste. taste. Yeah, and, so and if you're grenadine because going... it's all that cherry flavor. Yeah. yeah. If you're trying to ooh, maybe hybrid it, do a little pomegranate, little grenadine, I don't know. Well, we're gonna try this one first, that. and then when I get my second one, oh, may I ask go. what is in the mocktail? So your uh, your fake ass. My my fake one. ass mocktail. Your fake ass mocktail. Sam, you fake ass bitch. Not on the show. Is uh, sweet tea homebrewed? Yes, from the, the crystal. Crystal, thank you, mouse. Because she's a fucking rock star. Yes, and it's orange lanky. juice with a little bit of the grenadines. Ooh, that's the grenadons. The grenadons. The grenadons. The grenadons. I don't want to serve time, so we'll call it the grenadons. <laughs> no serve the top. No serve the tables. No serve. The it's on the table. Serve the table. Serve the top. Serve the table. Serve the top is on the table. It's serve the table. <laughs> Bone apple teeth. I don't want to eat teeth. Salud. All right. All right. I feel we need to do salud <laughs> in theme with the film. All ah, right. I got T-Rex arms. Yes. Go on. All right. All right. Enjoy. Sip, sip, sip. I got poked with a slice of orange. Ooh, that's good. You like it? It is. It's almost like a um, almost a, a fruitier like um Ar- Arnold Palmer. Okay, sweet. It's like instead of lemonade, instead of lemonade, and tea, lemonade orange juice. It's like orange juice, like fruit punchy. Okay, and. and Nice. Tea. It is good. Awesome. Good. And I always like a drink I can chew. There we Schnacks. Go. We got snacks with the drink. It's sweet. It is. The uh the slow gin without the slow gin in there mm. to um to cut down that sweetness yeah. and so yeah. I think I would like to try it with the pomegranate liqueur. Sure. Yeah. Make it um, make it in a bit again yeah. with that pomegranate one. Yeah, because this is um it's just super, super sweet. Very light. Like you can barely taste any alcohol. In yeah. Mm. There's only, so there's only an ounce of uh, Southern Comfort in there. Yeah. Um, an ounce of mm. Amaretto. Uh, two ounces of orange juice. Uh, I think an ounce of grenadine. Okay. So. <clears throat> it is scrum. Yeah. The, yeah. the mocktail is scrum deliumptious. Good. I'm going to go ahead and say two middle fingers. Sweet. Sweet. It is delicious. Oh. I'd like another one. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I brought that more so tea. Good. That's why there's all that tea. Yes. Um, I will go ahead and give this a one and a half. Um, I think it's missing just something. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do love the the concept. The Alabama Slammer for this movie, mm-hmm. movie is perfect. Yeah. Yes. Um, and I think with just a little bit of tweaking, it will be delicious. So, yeah, I had to give it a one and a half nice. fingers to the sky. Nice. Awesome. One and a nub. Yes. How about you, Crystal? It's getting a two from me. Nice. Great. Two from the mouse. So I have a friend who makes like, have you heard like a lemon square? Yes, I love lemon squares. But my friend makes orange squares. (gasps) Okay. That sounds good. This tastes like the orange square. Ooh. Mm. And I'm sitting here, I'm like. Now I feel like we need to bring orange squares to one of our shows. (laughs) Exactly. I also have his recipe. So I'm Mm. sitting here like. "Um." Oh, we could play. Yes. Mm -hmm. But no, it is really good. Awesome. Oh, do you have does, something to does say? Does the child want to? He sipped it. Oh, oh, all right. What you, you said think? it sounds like it feels or it tastes like it's kind of missing something. Yeah, just a touch of something. Sweet and sour mix. Yeah. Just a, a 
maybe mm. a half ounce or an ounce of yeah. sweet and sour mix. Like it tastes like yeah, candy maybe. right now. Yeah, I yeah, think, that may be that may be good. With it. I yeah. think that would set it off. But this is delicious. Nice. Yeah. So awesome. very good job. Woo. Thank you, sir. Uh, I'll give it two. Woo-hoo. Two middles up. Nice. Yeah, I mean it's good. It's delicious. It's light. It's airy. It's breeze, great summer it's drink. Breeze. Yeah, exactly. Great summer drink. Oh yeah, definitely. It's good choice for but, the June. But yeah. just like you said, it's missing something. Yeah. Know? But Ooh. it's not. But it's not really missing much. No. But I, I think, think that just, slow gin, though. Yeah. If if I was able to actually get that, like, it yeah. would make this. Ooh. I want to order a true Alabama slammer at a restaurant yeah. to to find out what, what the, the difference, difference is. is. Mm-hmm. But this, I I do like your alternative. I just I want to add just something to it. Yeah. To see if it can like taste a little bit less like candy. Mm-hmm. So. So. Maybe, yeah. If you that, yeah. put like a shot of a vodka that's like lemonade flavored, mm-hmm. like a D Betty's lemonade, yeah, or even a shot of lemon itself may yeah. When, yeah. Hit when, that. He, when he said sweet and sour, this is what made me think the D Betty's. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, might just need some acid to it. All right. Yeah, break it up, break mm-hmm. up the sweetness on it. Yeah, yeah, because she said that <laughs> when I was looking for the slow gin, the lady said that without <laughs> that, it will taste sweeter. Oh, yeah. All right, there you go. Yeah. I mean, so. gin is so junipery. Yeah. It um, is, and so even if even if it has like this. Which again, I, d- I didn't know there was a, f- a fruit named snooze. I-, I learned something today on our podcast. See, it's, it's smoke, fucking smoke educational, y'all. I'm just saying. By the way, didn't know that was a thing. Um, Are you taking a picture of your cock? But I'm trying to even take a with picture a, of the cock. A plum, the I mean, juniper and plum is still very like I don't yeah. medicinally very mm-hmm. floral. Oh, so pirates. I mean, okay. that's a or whole DHS. different flavor profile than than what the alternative was. So. Yeah, I'm, absolutely. Uh, but no, seriously, Ragnar, out of the park. This is delicious. Cheers. Very, very good job. Very good. Oh, uh, it looks so gross. It's Next not, time. though. No. Next I mean, time that's... you need a, a weird mm. ingredient, give me a call. I have slow gin. Do you? Oh, yeah. Very interesting. How the fuck was I supposed to know that? Oh, uh, if you had been <laughs> on a Great Dictator episode, you'd have known that. Oh, I'm sorry. I was unavailable. Oh, come on now. That ain't even bullshit. That's so, bullshit. <laughs> that's the favorite, and this is our show. <laughs> so, bye. <laughs> Go play. The- Go to play the with the gallery Ron. with you. Go yeah, play with you, the Ron. you and Ron go play with yourself. I am. <laughs> so I am. Are you ready being, for your cock? Yeah, I'm being punish. <laughs> You're getting punished with the because penis. last You're night on the tasting room the episode, my my computer oh, decided to talk and disrupt the show. Yep. And um, and you're honest. I was honest about it because they were going to blame Ron for it, and I was honest about it and claimed my computer. And so I rolled a cock shot. Mm-hmm. Um. In the lovely glass I, I got from Las Vegas. <laughs> and so what did you put in it? So I was nice uh-huh. about this. Yeah. Because if Ron went up there to make it. Oh, it would have been like filled with fireball. It would have been dis- disgusting. So what you have in there is uh, grenadine. Yeah. As the base. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and then, so and bad. Then, <laughs> But I, that's the thing. I didn't put it a lot of like fucking grenadine in it, though. It looks like bloody balls. It does. It does. <laughs> like it's chunky. Oh, Shake it up. Chunky I, monkey. Hey, uh, shake it, baby. <laughs> Only thing that makes it better if it had Sprite and it made go <laughs> Dude. I was cleaning that fucking thing and the soap did that. And I was like, oh. <laughs> did it spoosh in your face? It was like, blah, blah, blah. I was like, no. So she got spleen. We will put the uh, the cock shot on the Instagrams. Mm-hmm. It is it is, it is is something else. Yeah. Um, so you've got um, yeah. uh, grenadine. It looks like Pepto-Bismol. In the Captain, Morgan, the balls. Captain Morgan white rum. Okay. And rum chata. Oh, it might, it's going to be good, wow. but it looks gross. I, yeah, I, mm. all, all right. right, here we go. Down the hatch. It's so pink. <laughs> Swallow. <laughs> so pink. Put it in I your don't want to put my lips around the top. <gasps> it's I clean. I, I fucking, <laughs> now I really feel, now I really don't want to put my lips around the tip. Oh, God. Put it in your mouth. Oh, God. <laughs> and swallow. She's I so don't want to spit it all over anybody. <laughs> no, or you're your laptop. Up. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you see a tweaking dog's ass. All right. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. No? No, it tastes like cough syrup. Really thick and weird. And it's a very small <laughs> hole to drink out of. Really? I figured it would taste... 
No. Wow. Okay. If you do too much grenadine, you might need to do what I what I discovered is what oh I call the penis tornado. If you spin, take it. Is that your it? sex life? No, no, no. If you spin it and the liquid is a penis tornado, <laughs> I'm trying to help you take that down faster. Yeah, there's a rope no, swing directly it's, it's, in the it's middle a science. of the bed. It's science, actually. I created a mini tornado and... for science. Woo! But what you do is you you spin it really fast, like spin like spin it, and then put this, and it, the, it'll go down your throat. Like it'll, you'll drink I'm it faster. I'm so scared right now. It's you not going fast. You didn't make <laughs> it spin all over your juice bike. You need to spin it so the liquid is going like this. Yeah, like have it spinning it while like you that, go. Like that, like that. Gross. And Get then, it going like that, and then go. It's burning my tongue. I know that's that's why it's I'm the trying to help. Cherry. <laughs> oh god. Fuck me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh god. Oh. There's a lot in that pee. Jesus. There's a lot. There's a the lot. balls hold a lot. They do hold a lot. <laughs> Apparently that Woo. penis hasn't been emptied in a while. We oh, really no. need to measure yes, how not. much liquid actually fills this shot because this, this feels unfair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, babe. All right. Okay, you're good. You're good. You're good. Good job. Good job. <clears throat> My mouth is watering. Man, I wonder what it felt like to take a whole thing and ever clear out of that. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. This isn't about you, baby. <laughs> Walk away. All right. I need apple cider <sighs> vinegar. Uh, child, can you get some ACV nope. from the bar, please? You're going to do that on the other episode. Oh. Oh. I do that on Pirates. Oh, uh. all right. Oh, we can do that on Pirates. Tune in to that our way. Pirates FMK for me to get punished. One, fun, one punish for each show. <laughs> My lips are tingling. Okay. I'm supposed to host this episode, and like I have so many beautiful notes, and I can't fucking talk. My lips. What? Do the... you need a minute? No, we're fine. All right. Professional. I'm, fine. I'm a. Prof- I'm not. Okay. Here we go. All right. Kicking off this show is Aww. my cousin Vinny. Kicking it off right. Yes. Directed by Jonathan Lynn. Written by Dale Launer. And it is starring Joe Pesci, Marissa Tomei, Ralph Amazing. Macchio, Fred Gwynn, and Lane Smith. This film had a budget of $11 million, and its worldwide gross was over $64 million. It did very, very well. Absolutely. Its opening weekend, it almost made all its money back. Holy crap. Yeah. Yeah. It did fantastic. That is pretty good. Yeah. And if you have not seen this movie, what are you doing? Go watch it. You? It is a classic. It is about two New Yorkers accused of murder in rural Alabama while on their way back to college. They call for help from their cousin, a loudmouth lawyer with no trial experience. And it is fantastic. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. No, he, no wait. No, he doesn't have trial experience. No, not no, at all. He was a personal injury lawyer. Though. Yes, but he'd never been to It was an yeah. ambulance chaser. Yeah. yeah he I was. love that. Did you fall on your property or somebody else? Yes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so great. So great. Yeah, he, he was fishing real hard. Oh, he plays a little shark so good. Mm-hmm. Well, he needs it $200. Yeah. No. So, no. Side bodies. He needs it for bail money. I know. Because he kept getting, getting thrown in jail. He kept getting thrown in jail with his clients. He kept going to contempt of court. <laughs> what else is fucking new? Yeah. Oh, this my movie gosh. Is I am so, so excited good. about this movie. It's going to yeah. be so much fun. So it was it was released uh, March 13th, 1992. It was originally scheduled for a fall 1991 release, but 20th Century Fox delayed it because of another of Joe Pesci's movies, the the Super that came out in October. It was oh, a big flop. No, I've never even movie. heard of that. The Super. Oh, I had yeah. It um a, is it like a su- like I'm assuming like a Super for like an apartment building? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He, he it did not do well. Ugh. So they didn't want to piggyback this movie off of that failure. Oh, because Pesci. So they waited, and then that year he had three huge blockbusters. He had this movie, he had Home Alone 2 in December, oh. and in the summer he was in Lethal Weapon 3. So oh, it was a he was big busy. year. Wow. Yes, that it was is. a really big year for Joe Pesci, and it they did a really, a really smart good thing. Year. It was a good year. <laughs> And of course, Marissa Tomei won the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress. Oh my gosh, in this. she As was she amazing! Should. I love she her in this. in this movie. Oh Absolutely. my gosh, she is gorgeous. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. Even like now, now she's like yeah. Aunt May. I she's know. Beautiful. So pretty. I still taste oh. cherry. I cried so hard when oh, Aunt May died in the last Spider Man. Oh. Cried huh? so no. hard. You all right? It's just cherry. Talk amongst yourselves. Mm. Okay. Oh no! I was saying how much I sobbed my heart out when May May died in the last Spider Man movie. I was like, God, well, when when is the first time that you guys have seen this movie? 
Oh gosh. When it when it came out. When it came out. Yeah. Like um, in the movie so. theater. I don't. Maybe I don't know. Is either at ninety two, the- ten years old. Your parents took you to see my cousin Vinny. Have you met my parents? Yeah. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> I mean, what this? I mean, this was what fucking uh, PG? No, this is rated R. No, it's, it's R. rated R yeah. because of it's language. language. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I can't say shit. My parents let me watch me myself and Irene when I was six years old. <laughs> so, oh, extra hair gel. <laughs> they said I wouldn't get any of the jokes. They, you know, totally didn't take into account the fact that I would retain what I heard and say it again. Use it, it later. Made adults laugh, so apparently it was funny, so I didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. I think I had to have been a teenager. I It, it would have been a few years after it came out and probably on TV. Mm-hmm. But I've definitely, like, known this movie for a while, and it's just got so many good monologues. Well, it feels – this is one of those movies that I think, whether you saw it in the when it first came out or years after, mm-hmm. right – it's just it's one of those movies that feels like you've seen it like, a thousand times. a thousand fucking times. It transcends time, you know. It and, transcends yeah, time. It does. Yeah. It's so good, and you could see it once, and like somebody could mention the simplest fucking line from that movie, yeah. and you know exactly what is it, what it is, yeah, yeah. you know. And and 100%. it's great, and it and it's it's a fantastic movie, and it's funny because unlike unlike you guys, I saw it. Honestly, I wish Ron were here. I could actually use his help for once. <laughs> no, no, no. It's it's been within like the last five years. I yeah, feel okay. like I, I for some reason I never I remember seeing bits and pieces like when you were going through like the TV. Yeah, but like I never watched sat and it. Watched it? No, never sat and watched it. Okay. And when I did, I mean, I was I was blown away. Yeah, I was like, this is a fantastic movie. Yeah. And I mean, it, it, I, I've watched it many times since yeah. then, obviously, because I appreciate it. And just like I was saying to Snow today, I, you know, knew I needed to watch the film for tonight's show and I was kind of like tired. So I popped it on and I just had so much, it just, you know, I was rested and I was just enjoying it. And it's a, such a good movie. It is. It's such it's a great movie. It's not like the most funny comedy in the no, face of the planet. It's just a really great film. It's, it's so it's well very, written. very, yes. And, and. Pesci and Tomei's dynamic yes. is fantastic. Yeah, they're so they're so cute together. So... And the age gap is crazy. What is it? He was forty nine when they shot this film, and she what? and she was twenty seven. Holy crap! So yeah, there's a huge age gap there. And um, one of the things that they had done is they put like these metal clips to like pull his. They gave him like facelift dur- during the oh, shot. Is that film. why? That's why he looks younger. Is because they literally like went like <laughs> <"Mur-> <laughs> to his face. <laughs> In back and they had, yeah they had it oh like they had the clips hiding in his sideburns sorry and shit. mr pesci we need another That's moment your clip funny. fell off your yeah. face yeah <laughs> okay I, I read Lord. something and people are like i was trying to watch it today to see if i could spot it but they said that you could like see the clips that are pulling his face back and like hiding <laughs> in his sideburns and you see like the metal yeah um in in some of the film because there's a, bo- a lot of like um discrepancies throughout the movie that Ooh, are like goodness. that like you can see a boom mic and all that kind of stuff mm-hmm. so um but that that just kind of cracks me up, and I was really looking, but I was I I was also doing notes at the same time, so I wasn't closely <laughs> paying attention. Quiet. Next time, so I was like, okay, I just know to look for it, and I found right. that really funny. But so he does get a re- his face looks really pulled it tight, does. and that does. And I honestly didn't. Why. I never would have thought he was that at 40, 47 or forty nine. Forty nine. Holy 50. crap! Yeah. I mean, I, I knowing that like my first thought as soon as you said that age, I was like, damn, Pesci looked good at forty nine. Yeah, they made him do that. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and now I'm just imagining like Droopy Dog just pinning it back. Yeah. So Could you imagine when he takes him off for the day and his face just goes like? <laughs> it's like when you take your bra off at the end of the day and everything just falls just, into place. Uh, <laughs> That's what his uh, face did. His face does the bra release, and you're oh like, oh dear lord. <laughs> Oh my! Goodness. Oh my gosh! Okay, so um, what yeah. about what about you though, Mouse? When um, when did you see it? Uh, did I miss that? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, um, I saw this. I was in middle school. A couple years ago. That was yeah. last, yeah. last yeah. week. <laughs> yeah, last week. As we were that talking. was when Chase was picking you up, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, that has made you sound uber creepy. <laughs> yeah, it did. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, you did not make that better. That was not an add to situation. <laughs> you can see the lines by pulling his face. Yeah, yeah. Show that. Oh, oh let me oh, see. <laughs> no Look way. closely, like on like his skin, you can see it just being yanked. <gasps> oh my gosh, yeah. it looks like a really messed up Halloween mask. Yeah, show Ragnar. Oh my gosh, it looks like it hurts. Yeah. And he's so he's like, like rippling. He's very facial expressive. Oh yeah, so I can oh, only yeah, imagine. You can. Oh my god, Isn't that, that looks like a fucking is bruised there too. Yeah. Oh, dude, I mean, well, think gnarly. about it. That's a lot of skin. Yeah, yeah it is. So that's oh my probably, gosh, so that probably funny. Probably some form of like. <laughs> oh my gosh, bruising. <laughs> what, what are these scars, Mister yeah. Pesci? Those are my from my, my work on my cousin Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> I needed to be able to look I like play, I could actually date Marissa yeah, Tomei, exactly. so I had to pull my face up to my ass. Like, I don't blame him. Yeah, have you seen Men in Black with the cockroach? <laughs> that's what it was. No, that scene is so fun. Oh, yeah, like similar. This. similar, very similar. Yeah. Um, oh my goodness! <laughs> so this um, director, Jonathan Lynn, he w- actually has a, a law degree, oh. and he really wanted to aim for it to be very, very authentic in the in for the legal scenes. Um, and this film is actually acclaimed by attorneys and law professors for its accuracy in courtroom procedure and trial strategy, hmm. especially when he's doing his cross examinations. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Um, so courtroom strategy yes. by getting held in contempt. No, I mean, no. Is that time. their fucking strategy? No, they actually advise not to do that. Okay, good. <laughs> Don't cuss at the judge and all of that. No, but they, but for like his cross examination yeah. techniques and stuff, they, they like they're saying he, it. It shows very well how to do mm-hmm. a cross examination. Okay, and just the actual procedure. Like, there's a lot of stuff is is abbreviated because yeah, they have to cut for time, but it's actually like very accurate in the way it goes for most of it. There's some things, of course, not obviously, so much, but. That's pretty cool though. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that would work for a murder trial. No. <laughs> well, so oh, wait, this the, was a murder trial. It was. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It was fucked up. It was fucked up. These <laughs> poor really kids. Was. So they so for a so, can of tuna. Yeah. So the so the story, if you again, if you live under a rock, is these <laughs> pull your head out of your ass. <laughs> these two. Welcome to our show. Two, you know, two young, you know, like late, you know, early, yeah. late teens, early twenties kids heading college off to college kids. yeah college kids they are um on a road trip and then and to get from new york to california they decide to go through the south because they think it's going to be prettier yeah and um on their trip they go and stop at a grocery store in alabama and the sack of suds uh, the, yes the sack of suds which is actually a real store in Georgia. it's a real store in georgia really which is where they filmed it yeah oh, that's i'll get crazy. into all that but yeah um, so they while they're there they're kind of shopping in a hurry and ralph macchio's character bill Sticks a can of tuna in yes. his pocket and then forgets to pay I for it. Walking out, chicken of the sea. Yes, it has the green and white can. Yeah. So, um, and then when they're when they're leaving, <coughs> or they're they actually they pay for their stuff and they go and leave and they're on the road and he's like fishing through his pockets and he finds the tuna. He's like, oh my god, I forgot to pay for this tuna. Mm-hmm. And um, and they're like, why you stole? And Stan is making a big old ass deal yeah. out of it. And next thing you know, there's yeah. a cop behind them. And then and then he's like, there's a cop. And they're like, they know we stole the can of tuna. <laughs> and they're freaking out. Um, and it's just done so so well. And they ended up getting pulled over. Over and immediately like accosted and told to yeah. put their hands up yeah and, like there's no no like how are you doing where's your driver's license nothing they immediately arrest them and they really think that they're being taken in for this can of tuna will come to find out that they're the grocery store that they were at was immediately robbed and the clerk, clerk was, was shot killed. and yep. killed and they, they match the description so they end up getting picked up yep so they're in this fake ass lineup that really would never happen in real life because the people they're in a lineup against are not anywhere near their description. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> so like all of their eyewitnesses are geared towards them as an identifier <laughs> because there's there's nothing yeah. else they can pick that would resemble yeah, shorter that. Shorter ones, taller yeah. ones. Yeah, they got like ones. six foot five bikers next to these two little college <laughs> uh-huh. kids. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> uh, yep, those are the guys right there. So. After they're they're being interrogated by the sheriff and like when'd you do it how'd you do it and they really think it's all about a can of tuna and then like so when'd you shoot him and they're like wait what I killed somebody and then they are like oh so you're confessing yeah so exactly. we're good yeah like it's that like the, the, the craziest stupid part, thing the, that whole port there is like completely f- it's funny yeah and it makes it makes for good t- movie it's good, you know it's good, good for TV it's good yeah film. you know but it's not true that wouldn't happen that way. 
Yeah. No, they would you know, be informed what they were arrested for long before yeah, this happened. Yeah. So the yeah. fact that they're thinking. It's called habeas corpus. Yeah. Yeah. The fact that they're thinking like, well, fuck, I'm getting arrested for a can of tuna. Yes. You know, here, look, here's 73 yeah. cents. Yeah. They're like, do you right. want a lawyer? You know, they're like, no, I will cooperate. Yeah. Exactly. You it's, know. Yeah. But no. They, oh, you, so you shot the clerk. Yeah. Wait, what? Wait, what? I shot the clerk with yeah. a question mark, but it's made as a statement, yeah, exactly. so it's all yeah. kerfuffled. Like, yeah. Three times. Yeah. I was like, whoa, wait, wait, what? Yeah. There's been a mistake. Uh-huh. So then after all that, then they finally get a phone call, which again, come on now. <laughs> it's not really how it works. Um, but they uh, end up calling, um, Bill his ends mom. up calling his mom and like asking him if they know any lawyers and finds out that his cousin Vinny is a lawyer. And so Vinny and Mona drive on down to Alabama. Um, this uh, movie takes place in the fictional town of Wazoo in Beecham County, Alabama. Wazoo. Fucking Wazoo. Wazoo. Up the Wazoo. Yes. Um, and the American Bar Association actually ranks this as number three on its list of 25 greatest legal movies. That's very impressive. Which is cool because yeah. you wouldn't think it. But it's really like that well done. And the fact that it was a lawyer who directed it really helps with that. Oh, yeah. Um, the movies that came in in number one and two were To Kill a Mockingbird. Oh, another Ama- lawyer amazing. movie. Yeah. Well, no, because these are the 25 greatest <clears throat> lawyer movies oh, from the American Sorry. Bar. Will you pay attention? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, yes, the American Bar Association listed this as number three among the 25 top legal movies. Ha-ha, and it's To Kill a... Yeah, there you there go. You go. All right. I'm with you now. Tracking. Yay. To Kill a Mockingbird and then 12 Angry Men was number two. Oh, all right. Both are really good movies. Yes, absolutely. Never seen... I mean, I've seen To Kill a Mockingbird because I had to, yeah. but not um, 12 Angry Men. See, I'm no, the opposite. I saw 12 Angry Men, but I have not seen To Kill a Mockingbird. And no, 12, really? 12 Angry Men is based yeah. on a play no. as well, isn't it? Oh. 12 yes. Angry Men is based on a play, correct? I believe so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I saw that in like government class or something yeah, that's, a million years ago. That's what I had to watch. It was decades for, ago. For history. <laughs> to Kill a Mockingbird. Uh, fantastic. Have you seen either of those? Yes. Okay. All right. Good. Sweet. You know, it's an audio podcast. People can't see head nodding. Well, no, I'm, I'm sitting here in my mind and I'm like, <laughs> what a bitch. I know. No, they're talking about forever vicious. ago, it's like all the high cherry. school ages. And I'm just like, I, I graduated in 2017. It wasn't that long ago. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Mouse. Do they, do they, Sorry, what, do, okay, ago, so what do they teach now? Because like I took it in another century. Yeah, so. me too. <laughs> I was in a different decade. <laughs> We were I both was in a different millennia. Come on now. You were in, yes, you were in a different millennia. I was in a different decade. <laughs> I can tell Fuck you. Fuck world. <laughs> I, 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 I can tell you that President Reagan likes jelly beans. That's in your, that was in your history class? My government class. Well, I can tell you that they, they're not doing right by these ch- kids because my son was doing a, um, Yes, a history project on 9-11 mm-hmm. and he didn't know about a fourth plane that landed in a field in Pennsylvania. The I was Pennsylvania like, plane. What? I was, yeah. I was like, Oh son, we are going that, that night we watched United 93. Oh, so good. Um, Such an and he was film. like, tore him up. And I was like, yep. See everything you're feeling like that's real. Cause that was all real sh- shot. Sorry. Stop. What? I have so much water in my mouth from that shot. Fucking swallow. Don't like to. Tough shit. You better fucking learn. Fuck, you're a grown up. I am a grown up. Who My knows what I so like? Bad. Yeah, that's the difference between being a. Never mind. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Okay, so what where were we? I was like, my brain just oh, yeah. went so bad because, like, well, if you learned how to swallow, you wouldn't have bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh. <laughs> Probably true. Now, uh, Vinny is played by Joe Pesci. Danny DeVito and John Lovitz were all both up for the role. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, Jim Belushi so... actually turned it down, and he totally regretted it later. Uh, yeah. I'm glad he did. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think Belushi could have done okay, uh, but no. uh, John Lovitz or John, John, John Lovitz, Joe no, Pesci, John did Lovitz. Great. Not no, I'm saying Joe Pesci did fantastic. No, Joe Pesci did. You said John Lovitz was up. He was up for it. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad he did not get it. No, it would have been super right. annoying. It would have been. Yeah. He'd have been like, that's the ticket? No. Yeah. Yeah. I think, well, fucking De Niro was up for it, too. Oh, no. No. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Oh, no. no. Yeah. Terrible. I'm glad he did not get the role. Just like Enraging Bull, Pesci was the only good thing about it. <laughs> uh, 
Oh yeah. I'm not like going to lie. I, like I am Pesci. really good at recalling movies. I have done the best job I can of taking that whole film out of my brain. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. <laughs> terrible fucking ter- ter- You know what? It is like, not a necessary biopic. You're talking your side about it too. Yeah. yeah. No. If, we, if had we called it, it would have been negatives. <laughs> yeah. We were waiting to see if you would call us in. Yeah. She even re- she left and wrote she us. I sent her a text. Yeah, about like what what her rating would be and why yeah. negative five called for us, enjoyment and neg- negative nope. three for critical because this movie yeah, should so never have fucking about. existed. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went into details. Yeah, <laughs> it was pretty uh, funny. Mm. It was good. <laughs> so um, we all know that Tomei killed it in this role. Oh, I love her in this role. They're, Absolutely. They mm-hmm. offered it to Lorraine Bracco. Who's that? Sopranos, I believe. Lorraine oh, Bracco okay. was on Sopranos, right? Who is she on? Lorraine Bracco. Lorraine Bracco. Uh, Lauren Bronco is the Dr. Melfi. Oh, yeah. so oh. she was offered the role. She Ooh. turned it down. She could, would have been good. Have, and then she would have been good. It. The other person who was also up for it was Debbie Mazar from Entourage. She was also okay. Did you ever see Beethoven Second? No. Okay. Sorry. Well, she was like the she was like the bad <laughs> bitch who wanted to like drown the puppies in Beethoven Second. <gasps> yes, that's her. So she was oh. up for it. She was a terrible person, yes. but she's really fun to watch. I love her on Entourage. <laughs> She's got this really weird, right. like, cartoonish profile. All right, I've got to look this bitch up. Debbie Mazar. But no, she killed it in this fucking role. Oh, she's role. fantastic. She couldn't like, have she, done it better. No, the 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 persona for um <clears throat> her character yeah. itself, fucking, she fit perfectly. Yes. Heard that. Yeah, whose phone was that? Oh, oh we got to spin again. Come spin. Let Come me see if I can find her for you. This is her. Yep. What is that? Oh, I, I found her. Yeah. I know exactly who you're talking about yeah. now. Okay, okay. Yeah, she's got this weird snooty profile. Yes, but she's I know. really, really funny. Yes. Yeah. Is she a is she a witch to work with? No idea. Malort oh, cocktail. Okay. What is it? What is it? Malort cocktail with oh, your punishment shot. That's so nice. No, you don't even no, care. No. It doesn't even bother you anymore. With the uh, screwball, it sucks. Yeah. Thank you, Mouse. Well, let me pass this over to the to to the Ragnar. And then, Ron, when you're done, I'd love another one, please. God Girl, <laughs> so good. for fuck's sake! I'm glad there's not alcohol in it because I know. you would be three sheets to the oh, shitter no, right now. No. Three <laughs> sheets to the shitter. All right, I would be this. I would be <laughs> no. I drank when I when I drank. I I drank a lot, <laughs> didn't I, Ron? Yes, yes, I did. But um, speaking of two years sober, congratulations, my friends! Job. Happy congratulations. birthday, Happy congratulations. Um, so Absolutely another funny. alternate casting for this movie is Christopher <gasps> Lloyd as the judge. Oh, like, so you know what? I think I he would have he would have been fucking funny. I that think. would have been good. I think he would he would have definitely brought something completely different to it. I think it would have been more kooky, been like more night. I think yeah. it would be more night court yeah. if it was Christopher yeah, Lloyd rather than what it was. I really like. I think it would have been more kind of like night court if it was Christopher Lloyd. I think so. Yeah. yeah. So I I really do appreciate um, Herman Munster. I know. Yeah. I love her yeah. monster. Even though yeah. he didn't want to do the film, he didn't. He didn't. Really? No. But oh. it is his he very said, last film. He he, oh, he passed away the next year. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh. So he, he was in a. He's been in. A, he was in a bunch of good movies. Yeah. Though. So which forget, is the monsters? This one, Pet Cemetery. Thank you, Ron. I was going to say we might want to actually get me an adult glass next time, and then you don't have to make it. As it's much. like a little bit big glass. Like if, you if you don't mind me saying, you said that mind. Christopher Lloyd was up for the role. Yes, for the judge. All I could think of is Judge Doom and uh, and Robert Roger Rabbit. <laughs> the bald head that might have yeah. worked. Yeah, that I can see that. Worked. I can see that with the big crazy cartoony eyes yeah. and that high pitched voice. Yeah, Freaking I'm not going to attempt it. Judge Doom. <laughs> Oh, oh, I need to do that. Ooh, put that one on my list, please. Who Framed Roger Rabbit? You want Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Oh, yeah. Okay. Give that me is just childhood. Second, I'll write that in there. But right. I th- I don't know. I don't, have you, d- um, so I'm a big Cheers fan. Yes. And uh, there's an episode with, actually, it's a two part episode with uh, Christopher Lloyd on Cheers, and he plays this very curmudgeon y artist um, okay. who ends up doing a thing of Diane. Anyways, moving on. Great episode. Love it. But he played, like, it was the first time I ever saw Christopher Lloyd play in, like, non comedic, very curmudgeon y. Uh huh. And I, after seeing that, I could actually see him doing a really good job as the judge. Yeah. Um, if I hadn't seen that, probably what the not. Hell is curmudgeon-y? Like, like Scrooge. grumpy, very huh? yeah, like Scrooge, like oh, okay. grumpy, okay. like okay. yeah, old Ron grumpy when kind people of talk on a show. Huh? Ron when people talk on a show. Well, I, I yeah. will say this: comedians, yeah. 
make very good dramatic actors. This is true. That, like, they do. Amazing. I mean, do, like, look at Robin Williams. Exactly. I mean, he exactly. just comedians in general. Can, like, Jim Carrey they, they has do. done oh, some yeah. really amazing dramatic work. This is true. Um, Adam they Sandler. have a very wide range yeah. of yes. their acting scope. Yeah. Much. You know, yeah. instead of like, like a method actor. Yeah. You know, one that um, is like just a straight action star yeah. or a sports one. Well, that's drama. because comedy is harder than everything else. And, and, I, and, you, and, you, and most like real comedians are hiding so much pain. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That they yeah. can pull out the sad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're yeah. hella depressed. The drama yeah. that you see from a comedian yeah. is, is all, real. Yes. All I can always you think know? of are the mass, the tragedy, and the, and the comedy. Yeah. 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 Like, I feel like that is literally every embodiment of a, a really true comedian. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and, it, and it is that light and dark and everything. I mean, it's. I think because it's those passions, I feel like comedians in dramatic roles can make you feel a lot more than like a traditional method actor too. Yeah. I feel like they pull like that extra little yeah. heartstring. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Well, I was watching, um, I actually just saw this recently. It was Matthew Lawrence who was in um, Mrs. Doubtfire yeah, yeah. with with Robin. As he, the son. As Joey the son. Lawrence's brother. Joey Lawrence's <laughs> brother. The, he was the cute Matthew. I, I don't know. Everybody's got their preference in the Lawrence brothers. Mine was definitely Matthew. I thought he was cuter than, than Joey. I, I like Joey. No. I like Joey. No, I like the Matt. No, I like the so, Crystal, in the dark. Crystal, who's your preference? She's like, I don't know who the Lawrence brothers are. Yeah, That's okay. okay. Yeah, I figured that was so, going there. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that one I feel coming. Like, I feel like all of a sudden we very much pulled out like, okay, let me give Tiger beat and yes. let's you know do the Cosmo quiz. Yeah, <laughs> that was great. Yeah. I love our show. She's like, what kind of drum set is that? No, <laughs> it's a magazine. It was, but he was, was talking about when he was on set with you know Robin Williams during the show, and in between takes, Robin would always go back to his trailer, and he was a kid and he wasn't really thinking, and he like idolized him, and he said he went back and he walked into his trailer one time, and he was just sitting there and he had his head in his hands and like and he was like just let me be and it was say he said like it, it it did something so deep to him it broke his heart and but like that just kind of stuck with him and it's like yeah. that's what the people who are so so on behind the scenes you just don't know so they can really i, I really love it when when really strong comedians can do drama because mm-hmm. you just see so much more than with a regular dramatic actor I oh i agree yeah 100 percent. absolutely so Mask um, Cabana boy <laughs> god damn I, how about you get me an adult I have, cup? Okay, I have an idea. I'm gonna put in a big glass. No, just I have I have an a, idea. Just mix a lot and give her like a camelback full. Put the right? orange juice, <laughs> Ron. Put the orange juice straight into the tea. <gasps> Smart. And just add a little touch of grenadine and just Woo-hoo! give her the pitcher. Yeah. Not go. all the orange juice because I would like another Alabama yeah. Still slammer. Still need to make some more. Yeah. No. Huh? You yes, please. Yeah. You want another one? I'm good. No. Okay. Yeah, I would like one with a little bit of the pomegranate stuff in it. So, thank you. <laughs> but then you can't have any more. Okay, fair. <laughs> We're a it's been 10 minutes and you're on your fourth I'm one. I'm sorry. That's why I stopped drinking. Now, she, Where's now your she's water? going on her like 12th. With <laughs> and this you were just giving yourself credit for two years. <laughs> and this is some alcoholic tendencies, ma'am. <laughs> no, those don't go away. You did the same thing in Romancing <laughs> the Stone with the green drink. You were like, <clears throat> stop <laughs> making such fucking delicious drinks. Sorry. <laughs> Hashtag sorry, not sorry. <laughs> yeah! God, that's a lot. You look like a hamster. <laughs> now I know what I look like whenever I drink out of that water bottle, and I'm... It's hilarious. Yeah, I'm not taking that in public anymore. <laughs> you just ruined it for her! Why is shame on you? Where it's like this? last night with the sushi. <laughs> you got a piece and you went... Oh. <laughs> I did. Yes. And yes. Snap and turtle. Right. <laughs> Cheers to BAC. BAC. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> trying, to, trying to make it nice for you guys. You're so predictable. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, Thanks for being on the show. Yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Now go away. Delicious. All right. So why don't we um, jump in and play the first clip, which is the jail scene oh. with Stan and Benny. Got somebody for you. <laughs> you must be staying. How you doing? <laughs> Freaking out so bad. <laughs> Why'd they bring you in here? Well, I just got in. It's like yes, office space. Guys, yeah. Right Fuck you Thanks. in the ass prison. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, maybe I just start with you. <laughs> he has no idea. So 
Good. I don't blame you. If I was in your situation, I'd want to get through this whole thing as quickly <laughs> and with as little pain, pain as, as possible. possible. <laughs> so, you know, let's try our best to make it a simple in and out procedure. <laughs> What's the matter? Relax, relax. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's like a spark, it's like kind of worse just listening to it. It's not that much creepier. Yeah. It's very creepy. I don't want to do this. I understand, but, you know, what are your alternatives? My alternatives? Yeah. To what? To you? I don't know. Suicide? It's either me or them. You're getting fucked one way or the other. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Lighten up, okay? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna help you. <sighs> Gee, thanks. Excuse me, but I think a motor come grab you and knock out of line. You think I should be grateful? <laughs> yeah. Trinity. I mean, it's your ass, not mine. <clears throat> I think you should be grateful. I, I think I you should be down on your fucking knees. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know it was such an honor to get a visit from you. Hey, I'm doing a favor here, you know. You get me for nothing, you little fuck. What? what hell of an ego you've got? What huh? the fuck is your problem? One. I did not come I'm down fine. here just to get oh, your thoughts. No. <laughs> no, no. I'm not jerking you off. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> That's You're on your own. I'm just taking care of sleep with you. Hey, Billy. Hey, back off. Vinny! Hey, Vinny! Vinny Bagatelli. Motherfucker, do you realize so who great. I am? Yeah. So that Love that's it. really funny because they actually cut it from the film. Um, the director did. And, and um, ended up bringing it back later. He thought it was going to be a little too much. Really? Yeah. No. And, then oh he, and then ended up bringing it later because yeah. it, it was like the it's funniest so thing. Funny. Yeah. I wonder what they would have replaced with that scene. I though. don't think they were going to replace it with anything. I think they were just going to cut it because yeah, they said that realistically, that if the lawyer was coming to the jail, yeah, it, he wouldn't, he wouldn't have, gone, in, he wouldn't have gone into the cell. So no. that's why they were going to cut it. Yeah. But then it ended up being so funny. It's, they had yeah. to put it yeah, back Yeah, but in. also like when they're in their when they're in their cell, they're yeah. not wearing their regular clothes. No. So they have their fucking issued uniform. Yeah. You know, from booking and shit. Yeah. You know, so. Well, but, what's. Uh, oh, go ahead. No, I was, I was just going to say, but that whole scene there sets up, I think, the um, the rest of the movie. Yeah. The um, the the way that um, the way that Joe Pesci's character is played. You know, but the way Vinny is played by Joe Pesci, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, you know, his his persona, his charisma, the way that he talks and moves, you know, yeah. and then um uh who I forgot what the guy's name was. Stan. Stan. The way that Stan is. Yeah. You know, he is like a fucking a really like a fucking nervous Nelly. Oh yeah. yeah. He's terrified. You know, he but that's because he's fuck me in the ass prison right yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> But you they know? legit. That, that skinny white boy does not is not going to survive. But they were legit and fuck me in the ass prison because I know. they filmed it in a real prison. So oh, really, <laughs> yes. So this whole movie was done in Georgia, mm -hmm. and the they they filmed in um, it's the Lee Annandale Correctional Institute huh. in Alto, Georgia. And they filmed it with they were they didn't like shut down a part of the prison. Those are real guards, and those so are real all the real noises too. Yes, oh so my they God. actually had to like interrupt yeah. filming. That's terrifying because the prisoners would was the right? inmates would huh? Was there a riot? I don't know that there was a riot, but the inmates would actually like holler out really terrible shit. And Ralph Macchio said that he was never so scared in his whole life. Yeah, filming this stuff. Oh my gosh! But yeah. A hey, little white boy, I wait wonder, till them cameras turn off. I right? wonder because yeah, they were terrified. I wonder because like the scene where Pesci is sleeping and it's all the noise. Oh, yeah. I was yeah. like, is there a riot happening? Like what is going on? Yeah. And the fact that yeah. it was in a real prison, I'm like, oh lord. Yeah, it's so it the the whole thing is so that, fun. That part that was very that's fucking cool as shit though. Yeah. That like they used that the uh, actual prison. It wasn't just yeah. a set. Yeah. But they didn't shut authentic. it down though. No, like you know? they're they're in that prison in yard they're in their cells yeah. and they kind of justify it in a way because if they were awaiting trial they wouldn't have been taken to prison that's after you get convicted mm -hmm. so they would have been in county jail but they even say in the movie well the county jail was condemned so we have to take you to the prison yeah, yeah. um and but the way they did it is accurate because they did keep them isolated from other inmates they weren't they weren't 
they weren't convicted, so they couldn't be in with the general population. So they were isolated. They had their own rec area yeah. that was away from other prisoners. So they couldn't intermingle. Yeah. So that's the way it would really happen huh. in real life if they were sent to a general or a, a regular prison without being while, convicted. While waiting. Yeah, while waiting. Trial. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. It's rare, but it does happen. And that's the way they would do it. That's fascinating. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Interesting stuff you learn. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, Vinny comes down to represent the boys and he goes and meets the judge, Herman Munster. Um, and while he's in it, we'll just call him Herman. I what? didn't put it together. That's where I knew his face. Yes. 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 No, I paused it. Like every time this motherfucker pulled in office and was just staring at the camera, I'm looking in his eyes like, where the fuck do I know? You okay. From? So at the end of the film, when he's on the steps and he's waving, it's the same fucking wave yep, as yep. when he's waving from the Munster. Uh -huh. house. That makes a sw Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. I feel the dumb. Oh, that's all right. No. I've spent too much time with Chase. I've caught the stoop. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking at you. It's a joke in our fam in our oh. little household that if you if you've done something stupid, you just kinda look over at your partner or your friend and just go, I I'm the stoop. <laughs> that's, that's, funny. Cute. that's cute. That's cute. That's really funny. <laughs> So yeah, I feel dumb. Um, no, you're good. <laughs> the dumb. <laughs> the dumb. Again, this is why we have our show. We're yes. so informative. But um, I'm not the only one that noticed that, right? Well, oh, what, Herman Munster? No, 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 not Herman Munster. The fact that certain characters would pull an office and just kind of stare into the camera and then stare into the camera. Oh, did they break the fourth wall with this one? I didn't yeah, even notice every, it. Yeah, every time that the judge was talking to like to somebody, he was staring directly into the camera. Mm. I I never really noticed him staring into the camera. I, yeah, I, I always didn't thought he was staring off. I camera. thought it, I thought it was either purposeful or really shitty acting. Like you can't just stop staring at the center of the camera. Just kind of. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> huh? right, cool. Oh my gosh! But Maybe? um, when when uh, Vinny is meeting with with the judge. And um, he tells him like, OK, well, I'll let you I'll let you represent these kids because you're not you're not from this jurisdiction, but I'll let you represent these kids. Um, if you learn all of the you have to learn everything about Alabama law and he throws him the Constitution for Alabama. Now, the Alabama Constitution is the largest constitution in the nation. It's got over 300,000 words. Holy cow. The U.S. Constitution only has four thousand words i thought so, you had four oh, words I'm like we know people got yeah, it. yeah yeah that's, that's all you need to fucking know mean. yes yes no four thousand words in the u.s constitution three hundred thousand in the alabama Sweet state constitution. Lord. and he was like here you can't you can't do anything until you learn this so he was really setting him up for oh failure. yeah goodness <laughs> yeah but he was smart though hmm. he was smart by consistently uh changing his name Yes, his, changing his stage name. Yes, yes. his stage As name. He yeah, he's like because I was an actor, and there was another uh -huh. famous actor, yeah. and he was like, "Oh, I'm giving you the actor of Jerry Callow," but I didn't know that he died. Like, so, yeah. So, yeah. So yeah. when he's like, "Yeah, Jerry Callow's dead," he's like, "I know Jerry Callow's dead." I didn't say Callow. I said Callow or Gallo or yeah, whatever. Callow. You, Jane Callow. Yeah. you son of a bitch! All right, we're gonna yeah. fix this shit right now. Yeah. Yeah, so the whole thing is like you got ninety minutes to like get this phone call it. and figure it out. Uh, it was me, really it funny. It was very, you know, yeah. it reminded me of Bugs Bunny. Very Bugs Bunny kind of comedy. Waskily Wabbit. Very Waskily <laughs> Rabbit. Like, you know, like I, I the, just the way that he played that Pesci again, just yeah. that wit was playing off of like, no, no, like I'm too too slippery to get away. No, 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 no. Like I'm gonna yeah. talk, talk my way out of this. It was great. It was so <laughs> much fun. He was, a, he was a good negotiator. He really was. Well, he was I mean, a like when, litigator. So when he <laughs> He keeps getting thrown in jail for contempt. Yeah. And so Mona Lisa. <laughs> that's the, best, that's yeah. the best sleep he gets. Yeah. Lisa, well, Lisa decides to, you know, go and try, try to hustle people at pool. Yeah. To get in, bail order, money. in order to get bail money for him. And she ends up getting um, stiffed. Stiffed. So he goes to accost the guy and get her money back. <laughs> and that whole negotiation sequence is just hilarious. Oh, yeah, it is. Because he's like, okay. He's like, so we're going to go back and forth with this. You want me to, you, you want to beat me up, but I want $200. So how about I kick the shit out of you and you still give me $200. And the guy's so stupid. He's like, okay. Like, <laughs> he's like, okay, but first you have to show me that you have $200. So the guy's like, so we're not going to fight yet? And like, no, get your money together. Yeah, exactly. And it's just like a running joke throughout the movie. And it's very, very funny. Oh, it's great. Oh, counter offer. Yeah. That's what we call it. That's what we call it. A lawyer. I'm a lawyer. I'm a lawyer. I'm a lawyer. Yeah. Don't That's I sound like a lawyer? Because I'm a lawyer. Counter offer. Yeah. Honestly. It's whole... like, it's like, aren't I, you know, I'm famous, right? Because I'm famous. It's like you say it and it's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Is that how it works? Yeah. 
shit, I've been doing it wrong this whole fucking time. <laughs> Honestly, so at least I gotta start walking around the street saying, I'm famous, bitch. I'm famous. <laughs> Speak it and it's true. All right. <laughs> Honestly, the best part of that running joke was when he finally does beat the dude up, and he's like, uh-huh. "I got your money. You're gonna kick oh, my ass now." <laughs> yeah. Superman punch, fall what to the ground. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, leaps, just, like, he literally side bodies yeah. him. He leaps into the air as like an afterthought, though, yeah. because he's in such he, a fucking. He was hurry. mad and he was angry and he was in a hurry. Oh, yeah. So great. Like, yeah. I fuck you, then boom. Yep. He has to punch <laughs> straight into the air, like. <laughs> well, it, was, see, it was like the fuck, like the old body. school Superman jump. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, see, my phone was being shit and it paused kind of exactly at that moment so it was paused with his hand but he didn't make a fist it was like this so he like Hitler signed this dude the face <laughs> that's so funny did he judo chop him yes there was no <laughs> fist spear. either it was a really shitty Hollywood judo punch spear. or this dude just like pimp smack motherfucker in the next century I, I mean a good pimp smack works oh that's so funny <laughs> Give me the taste of the back of my hand. <laughs> um, so we keep going back to referring to the scene where he's sleeping in jail. Yeah. Yeah. So that's whole scene where he got thrown in jail for contempt again. Yeah. And Lisa's like, I'll bail you out. And he's like, no, no, I'm actually sleep this time yeah, exactly. because every place they go, he there's something sleep. because it's the country. It's the train was yeah. happen. slept in like five days. Yeah. So pigs. he's like, no, I'm going to go to jail and I'm just going to sleep. And literally there's a riot going on, but All he the still sleeps through it. Getting passed the fuck <laughs> out. The well, fun- he's from New York. Yeah, yes. I was about to say, which honestly I felt was bullshit because if you're from New York, you're not you're you're gonna sleep through a lot of the shit that he'd already been quote woken up by. Well, yeah. no, because those are unfamiliar sounds if you're from New York. City, city, the, like the city, the loud ass train. This the 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 the, the, the steel mill. The steel, what the, the, the pig? Are you doing a selfie? No, no, he's taking a picture. And then oh. there's you know the screech owl. Those aren't sounds that he's familiar with. The screech owl no, I the, can get. Yeah, the owl was fucking funny though. That was comes out. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, and then at the very end, <laughs> fuck you. That's all he's saying. It's I'm still here. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> well, the the jail me, scene. Me. Right? He 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 filmed that the day after he won the Oscar for Goodfellas. What? Yes. So That's he actually brought funny. his Oscar to set. That's cool. So, so was he sleeping with his Oscar? It was probably tucked in the blanket. Yeah. He's, he's cutting cut like a little yeah. baby. It was, yeah. It was, it was like his little whoopee. Yeah. Yes. Oh, <laughs> his little Oski. <laughs> <laughs> now, the dynamic between... Did you just say Lisa, meow? Meow. Right right now, meow. the dynamic... <laughs> right now. Right here. Yes. Right now. The, um, between Lisa and Vinny is... It's awesome. Fantastic. Oh, it's... And if yeah. you show the next clip, this the faucet. It's, it's their flirting. It is. It's, oh, it's their amazing. Foreplay. All right, here we go. Yeah. Is that a drip by here? <laughs> it's great. Yeah. I want you to last one and use the bathroom. So? Like, and dick move. Well, just get up faucet? and turn off the yeah. faucet. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you turn it off? I did turn it off. But this is well, how they turned start. it off. Why this am I listening to it? You tell they just like thinking about it. Does it ever occur to you it could be turned off and drip at the same time? No, because if you turned it off, it wouldn't so drip. Hot. Maybe it's broken. It sounds so hot. Is that what you're saying? It's broken. I love that this voice yeah, does it for you because it, it really does. Broken. I know. It's fucking great. <laughs> you sure? Positive. I'm positive. How can you be <laughs> Maybe so Maybe you sure? didn't twist it hard enough. I twisted it just right. <laughs> it sounds more flirty yep. on audio. You will look it really in does. In the manual, you will see that this particular model faucet requires a range of 10 to 16 foot pounds of torque. I routinely twist maximum allowable her, torque. But all I'm seeing well, in my brain sure you use 16 is the chick from Ghostbusters. Because I used With a that voice. model we 1019 got Laboratory Edition <laughs> Signature Series Torque Wrench. The kind used by Caltech high energy physicists and NASA engineers. Well, in that case, how could you be sure that's accurate? Because a split second before the torque a wrench split was applied before to the I used it. Hand, it had been calibrated by top members of the state and federal department of weights and measures to be dead, dead on, on balls, balls accurate. accurate. Funny. Here's a certificate of validation. <laughs> Dead on balls. She may as well just take off her shirt right, right there. Uh-huh. Like, but it's an industry term. And there's the music. I guess the fucking thing is broken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's so the, that is their fucking flirting. Yes. That is their uh, flirting and... 
Uh, That's how fuck. they interact with each other. Wooing. Yes. Yeah. To get laid. Well, I mean, know? six years. Courting. Or uh, however long it was that they were together. Yeah. Yeah. That, um, yeah, courting. There we go. Thank you. I think it's longer than that. I think it was like 10 years or 10 something. 10 years, I think. Yeah, it was like 10 years yeah. they had been together just waiting for him to win his first court case so they could go and get married. And her biological clock is <laughs> yes. that We oh, have that clip. I love that We scene. have that clip. It's hilarious. So, so many. That was the thing. Like, I have a lot of clips for this yeah, movie. I know. I really, but th- there's a lot I wish I could have stuck in here, too, because there's just well, so the problem, many good. It, the, the movie has a lot of great spots. Dialogue. You know? Yeah. It is so well written. Yes. It is. But the problem with it is that, like, the entire show yeah. would literally just be fucking the next clip. 30 seconds of talking. The next clip. I mean, 30 really, seconds we of could talking have missed history you know. science theater of this shit. Oh, and it would have been great. No, that would have yeah, been a perfect been. movie yeah. for it. It, it, it would have uh, been. Yeah. <laughs> it would have literally been all clips. Yes, 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 yes. So this film was made in Georgia, as I said. Um, the majority of it was filmed in Monticello and Covington and Bostwick, which is kind of like southeast of Atlanta. Okay. And Atlanta has a huge film industry. Like it, not so much, you know, it's really not like, not then, but like it is a mecca for film industry now. Oh, they, cool. they had the Pinewood Studios, which is no longer the Pinewood Studios now. It's the Trillis Studios. Hmm. Um, but they have done so many major franchises. They did Walking Dead. Wow. Stranger Things. Oh. All the Marvels, like all of the Marvels mm-hmm. filmed wow. down there. And it's just, they, like that's where people go now and they're even getting another one it's called um black hill studios and it's gonna be the largest film studio in the southeast wow coming up in DeKalb county nice cool. and um that's expensive it's, i mean all around atlanta we've we've seen some sh- great we used to live there so yeah we've seen some crazy crazy houses down there and i loved mm-hmm. you see, there was this one drive that we would take and you'd see like the stone mansion mm-hmm. mega mansions yep. just like right outside the city castle. Wow. But like not just one. Oh. It's like streets of them. Remember the dwarf house? I do. The, the dwarf house outside Atlanta in Alpharetta, I think it is. Yeah. It's literally, they made it look like a mini castle, like for for like dwarf Midgets. sized people. Yeah. But when you go inside, you see inside pictures and it's like fl- the, the floors are dug deep into the earth. Oh, crazy. So it only looks like it's little when it's actually like full size, but most of it's underground. Yeah. That's freaking and it's cool. it's the coolest thing. And nobody That's knows. Cool. The, f- the cool thing about it is the mystery around it. About the like, owners. Yeah. Like there's so much lore. Oh, really? About it. Like nobody knows the real it's story about it. All kinds of it. like. Theory. Yeah. Like yeah. there's there's Spooky. one where um, yeah. it's uh, the owner's uh, next spook yeah. who fucking uh, lives under there. Um, another one was uh, it's a fucking bomb shelter. Yeah. That um, another one was a truck driver lives there. Yeah. yeah. With his wife and yeah. they're never home and shit. Which I, yeah. I drove by it all the time because it was on my way to school mm-hmm. and it really and like there was very I would see cleaners there but like mm-hmm. never any anybody. Interesting. But it was just the coolest little house and so but they had the Atlanta has a lot of money. Yeah. Um, Atlanta's and then weird. The film it is, but the, the film industry has gotten so huge there and one of the reasons there's a lot of reasons that people go there to film. The big one is taxes mm. because their 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 regular taxes are super super low. Oh, all right. Um, but then they also have huge tax incentives for the movie industry out there. Interesting. But when you think of the topography, it's a very temperate climate year round. Um, they have beautiful mountains, forests, beaches. Mm-hmm. The small, all of the small towns covering. You know, it'll look like a desert or it'll look like a little quiet little mountain town. Yeah. Um, they really have they have these beautiful hidden waterfalls everywhere wow. well, which, those are those are actually in the area too it's, it's yeah. like those little hidden gems yes and, and like locally we would go mm-hmm. all the time to go to like these one of my favorite places is called the edge of the world down there and oh, it's just neat. this podunk little like offshoot and mm-hmm. you could never get there unless you know where you're going but it looks like last of the mohicans wow in, with the water yeah that's when a, they're that, crossing yeah. the river yeah that's what it looks like. Like it could wow. have been filmed there. It's wow, beautiful. that's pretty. Like Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves in the fort, like that. It's cool. just 
and we would go and hang out mm-hmm. there all the time. We'd go rapid, rapiding, yep. go down the rapiding, rapids and rapiding, shit. not a word. White water rapiding. Rapiding. Rapping? Rapping? Rapping. Yes. We're rapping rapping? Rapping. We're rapping down the river. We're rapping down, rapping the, down the river. Down the rip- I, thought said, <clears throat> I thought you said rabbiting, and I was like, I don't need to know about what happens behind closed doors. <laughs> That's not in the river. <laughs> That's before you get to the river. <laughs> that's when you get home from the river. <laughs> Any- so, yeah, that's that's the Georgia film industry. Anyway, I thought that was just really interesting with how far it's come and how that, like, you wouldn't think that it would be a big, like, major place, thing. but it is. Yeah. It is. It's a huge thing. No, it's grown a lot. Yeah. You even wanted to try and be a, a, an extra on The Walking Dead. I did. They wouldn't yeah. answer me. Aww. <laughs> They're lost. I think because I stalked them. They're lost. But the, if you wanted to be a zombie, then that's a good thing to do. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I'm so sad. I'm sorry I brought it up. Fucking assholes. <laughs> well, I, that Aww. show sucks because they had cut grass. And who the fuck's going to sit there and cut the grass during a zombie apocalypse? Because, you know, that's, that's totally how that works. <laughs> yeah. Because you're going to take that precious gasoline that's needed for other things to start your push mower. Who said it would be gas? You, See, ha- you have the old school fucking push mowers with fucking hand You can power. pick those up at yeah. Lowe's now. Yeah. They yeah. still make those. They yeah, do. they do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they do. Yeah. yeah. That's what I grew up so cutting my grass with. Maybe you want a nice line of sight. You're going to tend your lawn. And then put <laughs> treadmills <Good> out. <laughs> because zombies can't go uphill. Yeah. See? You go. So you just put a line of fucking treadmills out in your yard, right? <laughs> put them up at an angle. You're, not, you're safe. You're fine. Just Why they're... didn't they ever think of that one? Because they're fucking stupid and they, they don't listen to me. They should have used that one outside of Dawn of the Dead. Just put them out from like the sporting goods store outside the entrances of the mall. There you no. go. Nobody would have ever breached. Yeah. It would have been fine. Exactly. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. Just live off on the pretzels. Yes. I mean, if you've got a Costco, hot dog on a stick is all I'm saying. You know, Cos- if you got a Costco, jam. and let's face it, those things are attached to every mall. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fine. Be fine. It's fine. I love that somehow we went from my cousin Vinny to our apocalypse plans. I mean, it happens. <laughs> we, everybody's got to have a plan. Now I'm just totally lost. Uh, we, were, we were talking about how their whole thing was like being all sexy about arguing. Oh, their dynamic. Yes. Yeah, their dynamic was great. And it comes through again really well when he um, Vinny ends up going to the lawyer Trotter, who mm-hmm. is the um, the other lawyer, and he's like, oh, I'm going to oh, schmooze God. him, and oh, that the- way I can get, I can, I can <laughs> trick him into giving me his file. I know what clip is coming ass. up. So, <laughs> so she goes, so he's tell, she's tell, he's telling her how he got invited on this hunting trip, and then, you know, here you go. If only I knew what he knows, you know? If he let me look at his files. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I don't get it. What does getting to Trotter's files have anything to do with hunting? Well... You know, two guys out in the woods, guns, on the hunt. It's a bonding thing, you know? Show him I'm one of the boys. He's not going to let me look at his files, but, you know, maybe he'll relax enough to drop his guard so that I can finesse a little information out of him. <laughs> what am I going to wear? What are you going to hunt? I don't know. He got, uh, he's got a lot of stuffed heads in his office. Heads? <laughs> what kind of heads? I don't know. He's got a boar, a bear, a couple of deer. Whoa, you're going to shoot a deer? I don't know. I suppose. I mean, I'm a man's man. I could go deer I'm a hunting. man's man. Yeah. Innocent, harmless, leafy, doe-eyed little deer. deer. I saw you when <laughs> I walked the scenes no. you know? I mean, the guy will lose respect for me. Would you rather have that? It's happened in real life. <laughs> it has. Yeah. What about these pants I got on? You think they're okay? Here we go. Oh! Imagine you're a deer. You're prancing along. You get thirsty. You spot a little brook. You put your little deer lips down to the cool, clear water. Bam! A fucking bullet rips off part of your head. Your brains are laying on the ground and little bloody pieces. Now I ask you, Ron got me would you give a fuck what kind of pants the son of a bitch who shot you was wearing? <laughs> Such a cool And it has, though, because so <laughs> we lived in a cabin in the mountains. Mm-hmm. And the first time he went out and he actually, because he would go out in the backyard and, like, sit in his stand and always, like, optimistic. He's going to go kill a poor little animal. So he's out there doing his thing. <laughs> and one day I'm sitting and I'm watching TV and I hear a gunshot. And I was like... <gasps> No. And then 
I and then like I knew. I just knew in my soul that it worked. And I was so it sad. Worked. And he dragged it to the I was crying. And he drags it by the back of the house behind his little four by four. And I just I literally I walked outside, turned around, walked back inside, and cried hysterically. <laughs> so, Did he kill Bambi's mommy? No. I was so he killed mad. Bambi. <laughs> I was no, so it wasn't mad. the mom or Bambi. I mean, Bambi the spot did size. fall off. Oh, so. so sad. No, it wasn't a buck, though. Oh, man. Oh, it was a doe? Mm-hmm. Oh. Sorry, it still tastes good. Bambi's mom. Fuck. So, yeah, Fuck you, you shot Bambi's mommy. Yeah. No, because Bambi's mom was older. Uh, this one wasn't that old. You don't know her yeah, life. I she might have had a baby. <clears throat> no. She could have started young. <laughs> Today on Maury. <laughs> <laughs> I was so fucking traumatized. And he's like ripping it apart in the garage. And I accidentally walked out I, and I just see this like Dexter laboratory I like, all over the thing. I like deer, but I don't like deer. Well, and it's bad because he's like, my arms are tired. I need you to come help me. And I'm like, fuck you. You can tear that bitch apart by yourself. Oh I won't eat it. I won't touch it. I don't want to smell it. I no, was, it wasn't my arms. It was my back. I was... Don't care See. about your back. Her back hurt. Like, <laughs> who are you? Who are you to complain? I don't think it hurt anymore. It definitely didn't fucking hurt anymore. <laughs> and it, as it was no longer her attached. Poor little baby's out in the forest crying. No, oh my no. God. <laughs> that little hey, hey, that bitch didn't have a chance to get bread yet. So oh. See, then there's no. I do. Oh, I'm you sorry. don't. They're just. Pigeons, they're fucking rats with hooves. I hate deer. Oh, yeah, see, I've hit no, three of them. No. <laughs> They've done so no, much damage. I have cuddled to my a baby deer. I got no nibbled problems. on my ears. It was. Cute. <sighs> it's I got no problems with people menace. like skinning and doing that to deer yeah. and all that. But Chase is like c- convinced that if I were to have a, a pig for slaughter, that I would like name it, and then I would be like, "You can't kill Wilbur, no." But I'm sitting here like, if I know it's for food, I'm going to eat it. I definitely had a pig, and it was not for foods. Yeah, no, pig. But he fed it bacon. Oh, it was not okay. What? <laughs> Cannibal pig. It's okay. You can have one as an emotional uh, support animal. Yes, you can. Yeah, I'm I know. looking into it. Yeah. Can I have another one? Sure. <gasps> Yay! I'm going to get another pig. You said so. Yeah. I'm so excited. You loved pig. Pig was great. He was. You named your pig Pig? Spider his name pig. Was, his Spider name was pig. Oink. That was, um, Eric named him. Called him. We were like, "What are we gonna name him?" He says, "Oinks," and I was like, "Okay, oinks." So no, but we called it. We called him pig. So he was great. No, Ron. Ron was good with animals. He uh, he rescued a baby squirrel and a baby possum. And those are cute. Yeah, that was kind of cool. That was How do you know that was the mom? But no, like, she came. Did she, down, have, she came did down. Did she have a picture? Right? A missing child? Yes, yes, that's why we checked your ID. <laughs> How she, awkward would that be? You turn it back in the wrong that, nest, and the mom just throws squirt. it back out. <laughs> <laughs> You're not my fucking kid. Go away. I don't care that they nurse you back to health. Boot. <laughs> you don't smell right. <laughs> no, we're pretty sure it, it was actually kind of cool. That, like the mom came down and actually like was like grabby. Was it like the sloth? Kind of, related yes. with the sloth. Yo, oh gosh, she's don't gonna start. cry. Oh don't gosh, start. she's gonna cry on the show. <laughs> We're gonna, Damn to, it. we're gonna need to take a break for that. <laughs> Someone snow. mentioned sleuths. Uh huh. <laughs> a baby yes. sloth being returned. I've seen that video so many times, but it's so cute. <laughs> and she's actually crying. Here we go. <laughs> and um, we're gonna go on break. We'll see you later, guys. All right, enjoy this commercial. Join host Dave Houghton and Sarah Ray Pally as they examine the less glamorous side of sports with their podcast, In a Pickle. Follow IAP Radio on social media by going to iapradio.com. In a Pickle is now part of the Den Network. For more information, go to iapradio.com. Welcome to the Growing Up Bananas podcast. My name is Ethan. This is my co-host, Sam. What are we doing here? The podcast will explore the internal battle of not just Asian immigrants, but every immigrant. Whether it's staying true to thousands of years of culture that our parents passed on to us and their parents passed on to them, or assimilating to what we see around us. So why is it bananas? Well, a banana was a slur used for an Asian person who'd lost touch with their heritage. Yellow on the outside, white on the inside. Growing up is hard enough as it is, and we find ourselves in a situation where we're not quite Asian enough for the Asians, and unfortunately unable to change the colour of our skin. Unless you're MJ. Well, that's true. 
We've been thinking about it, and as travel becomes more accessible, the world will become more intertwined. With that, the number of people who go through the same ups and downs of living in a foreign country like we did will rise. We want to share these experiences with you. Throughout the journey, we are inviting a series of guests to share their compelling stories with us. We hope to have the likes of Dami M, Jeremy Lin, Jackie Chan, and Ando. We'll hopefully join us as guests along the way. Follow us on socials to stay updated with Growing Up Bananas and we look forward to sharing our stories with you. And we're back. And not crying anymore. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Jesus. Sorry about that. I have... Anytime a fucking animal is mentioned. I have issues. It's no shit. It's okay. It's the fucking waterworks. Anyway, so back to the movie. Any horse. <laughs> I did. He did marry me without knowing me very well, to be honest. So he learned a lot Which of this I on the fly. I learned last night. Yeah. Yeah, hey. we were only like together together like six weeks. <laughs> yeah, something like that. There you go. Yeah. But obviously, it worked right. out well. I mean, y'all 20 are, years later, we can't really are, complain too much, right? No, y'all are fucking adorkable. I love it. <laughs> adorkable. Adorkable. It is a long fucking time. All right. Half your life. I know when I was gone for a lot of it. Yeah, no. Lucky you. Um, <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> That's the key to successful marriage. Leave for half separation. Of it. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> it's just <called> separation. <laughs> That's how it works. That was fucking funny. That was funny. God, that's what we're not getting right. Damn it. He's not paying attention. You want to you get He's along not. for a really long time? Just be away from each Take other a for a really long time. Uh-huh. And then, yeah. come, and then come you back. appreciate each other there you more. Go. Yeah. Absence makes the heart go fonder. Life lessons by deployment, pl- deployed spouses. I will say this. Yeah. So we were uh, in, uh, we pulled into, where the fuck? We pulled into Rome. And. <sighs> like Roma? Yeah. Rome. Yeah. Oh, cool. The port of Rome. Oh, I'm never going to go there. And we were uh, we were walking around. And I don't, this was fucking, I don't know, many, many years before ago. Before we had kids. I think this was a deployment before we had kids. Maybe. Or maybe just the one. I think we just had the one. Yeah. And um, I told you this story. We were walking around. And I just happened to fucking look over. And I swear, I swear I thought I saw you. <laughs> Because absence makes the heart grow fonder. It was weird. It was weird. <laughs> like if I wasn't drinking, we're heavily drinking. <laughs> All right, you were on shore leave. You were heavily loaded. I know. Maybe that's why y'all, you guys saw you. Y'all mauled the Coliseum. I know I did. <laughs> I have a piece of it. So. They can't do my- <laughs> what the fuck are they gonna do? To- they can't do shit to me now. You know what? He had a couple to- drinks. He's like, I'm a tiger. We- <laughs> yes, we're looking for Ragnar. Right. <laughs> We've were taken- you here at this time? Nope. We've taken very good care of that little piece of rock. I know. It's history. That's really cool, though. Yeah. No, we are not promoting doing this, people. No. It's not quite history, but my brother decided to break off one of the crystals for me at the um, little gnome forest in georgia there's a gnome forest in georgia there's a lot yeah actually oh i think it's um i can't remember exactly what it's called but basically you just walk through a bunch of caves and stuff and um there's a part and it's it's all of like the old school german folk tales oh and it's really creepy like the dolls are really creepy yeah my brother walks in. He goes, "Oh man, they have the entire thing live, uh, lined in crystals." I'm like, "Yeah, that's cool as shit." He goes, "Oh, you like it?" <laughs> <laughs> and then he just fucking stomps the nearest piece he can find, breaks off a piece, and he goes, "Here you go." And I'm like, "I'm gonna put that in my pocket and run now, so we don't get in trouble." Leave. <laughs> At least it was something you could put in your pocket, right? Yeah. <laughs> Not something huge. You gotta care. You see nothing. Yeah, you yeah, see no, nothing. I brought this <laughs> chunk of crystal in with me. Yeah, yeah. Get that through customs, bitch. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> it's my lucky like self care crystal. This yeah, is my yeah. ES, my my emotional my support emotional crystal. Point crystal. Point crystal. Point crystal. <laughs> this is my emotional support yes, crystal. This is our emotional support crystal. <laughs> she is adorable. She does a very good job. Yes, I'm like the girlfriend from uh, Deadpool too. Hi, Yukio. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> I could totally see that. Adorable. Speaking of adorable people. Yes. Back to Marissa Tomei. Yes. Um, if you want to play her. Amazing. Yes. If you want to play her um, explanation of disclosure, because Vinny got the files. <laughs> and he's so fucking what? proud All of that. this, too. Like you stole his file. files? All of them. You stole his file? I didn't steal his files. Listen to this. 
I'm just ready to finesse him. I'm starting to finesse him, right? I got to finesse him. Finesse. 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 Have his secretary copy everything for me. That's very impressive, finesse <laughs> That's not all. <laughs> He's letting us so use his hunting sarcastic. cap as soon as he gets back. It. It's in the woods. It's quiet. He sleeps like a baby when he's there. Terrific. You're a hell of a bonder. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? You uh, reading this book? Yeah. Do me a favor, okay? Don't read this book. It's the Constitution okay? of Alabama. Exactly. Thank you very much. All right. Don't you wonder why Trotter gave you his files? I told you why already. He has to. By law, you're entitled. It's called disclosure, you, you dickhead. dickhead. <laughs> he has to show you everything. Otherwise, it could be a mistrial. He has to give you a list of all his witnesses. You can talk to all his witnesses. He's not allowed any surprises. You just see all of his, like, all of his male It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. like, they didn't teach you that in law school either? No. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Oh my God! Well, it's it's you great. Do a really good New York accent. It's her. I love her so much. She's great in the wrestling. I wish I was that sassy. Oh my God! But I you mean, are. I'm, I'm you sassy. Are. You are. Say, but I was mid yawn, so I'm like, so much. Is it? <laughs> yeah. No. Snow's definitely got enough of the sass to go around. <laughs> Snow got sass for days. Dude, I made you fall out your chair last. It night. was amazing. <laughs> I felt like I did one of my ab workouts. I, were, I was laughing so hard. I'm sore even now. <laughs> like. It was hilarious. I can't stop. It's once I oh, start. Oh, so great. It's like when I poke Ron. It's like I just sense blood in the water. And I just, Little shark. <laughs> like a piranha. Yes. Na, 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 na. Yes. From the Amazon. How's your jug of fucking tea? I bought it was here. No, Jesus here. Christ. Yeah, but she isn't asking for refills. How <gasps> smart am I? <laughs> she doesn't have to bring a 64-ounce thing every single time. That's Sammy's bottle. So that she can sit there and just hamster it. <laughs> that's, that's a bit more than 64 ounces. You got that at the Dollar Tree? Yeah, I got that at the Dollar Store. Dude, Dude. nice. Telling you what. I believe Dollar it was Tree. seven whole dollars. Wait, at what? The- Dollar Tree? Yeah, the dollar store. Dollar General. Dollar General. Well, I, I say the dollar. I say the Dollar Store in general. Like, there's the Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Dollar Family Dollar. Like it was one of the. Oh, okay. One, it was one, one of, of the dollars. dollars. Yeah, the dollars. it was one of the dollar stores. Okay. Gotcha. So All I know right. dollar store is like dollar twenty five store now, but yeah, um, it is. Yeah, yeah just like five Inflation's below is actually bitch. now the ten below. Yeah, five below is not. Yeah, no, no it's nothing. Below. Is five below five anymore. Below. No, nope. no. It's not anymore. It's very disappointing. Change your store name. If the you only have thing there that's less than five bucks. The throat of lies is the candy. Oh, they the do candy. have really cool yeah. candy. I they love have it. a ton of airheads, including cherry, which is my yeah. favorite. They have a like if you just have wall. something specific from the '80s you want, just go to Five Below and yeah. they'll have it. I love, oh, yeah. I love, I, yeah. Well, yeah, it's like Five Below. I mean, it's Five Below. <laughs> <laughs> Inflation's a bitch. All right. It is. Yes, yes, so. yes. But yeah, that that scene is so so funny because yeah. she just like sucks the joy out of him. But you also yeah. see how smart she is because yes. she's sitting there and she's she's bored. She doesn't yeah. have anything to do. Like, well, I'm as he well keeps leaving her. Well, he's not account. letting he's not letting her fucking help. help. No, no, you know, no. Which, which she also uh, dresses later too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right, rightfully so though. So for him, he wants to be able to do this yeah. the whole case That's a lawyer. by himself. But yeah. I also think you know? even though he's been with her for so long, he does not give her enough credit. No, he doesn't. Which is why he doesn't think that she could logistically be able to tell him what disclosure means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Or give him all this information and then, you know, all of the pictures she's taking that mm-hmm. wound up helping him win the case. Um, Which, what, what, the one in the, of him in the shower? Him in the shower. That totally helped him win the case. Yeah, yeah. yep, that yeah. was it. That was the one of her chicken dinner. Oh, yeah. That one right there. <laughs> Re- rewatching this, the, well, I've seen it a couple of times, but the second time I rewatched this, when she was reading the book and she did the whole thing about the disclosure, yes. my brain immediately went to, wait, she sounds like she has like photographic memory. Why don't you just she let might. her read the whole damn book and let her be like your, uh, not attorney, That's but your assistant? Yeah. Right. I don't give a damn if you want to do it by yourself. You can't. She can. Yeah. 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 She may very well have a photographic memory. Yeah. I mean, considering the way she just spits off all of the automotive knowledge mm-hmm. and then the, the torque wrench stuff and everything, she's... She may be damn near a genius. She's just also a hairdresser. Yeah. <laughs> out, of out of work, work hairdresser. Out of work. Yeah. Which I, I love that. But they immediately typecast her. Yeah. Oh, as yeah, this bimbo. Yeah. yeah. That, oh, she can't possibly, you know. Yeah. Oh, we know your family's. Oh, what were you doing? Your family's, yeah. you know, qualified. But what are your qualifications? Yes. Yeah. And the way that they try to, they, they do condescend. 
Yeah, and, and, and she just shuts him up super oh, it's fast. So great, it is. It's so great, well, and he's just oh, yeah. it's like yeah, yeah. Shut well, your face. they cast her in this movie, and um, the director he he wasn't really sure, but he said she read she she got on the set as day one, and she read, and he was like, "We're fucking golden." Yeah. Like, She's definitely got this mm-hmm. and she owns it. And nobody else, I'm sure, could nail this part no. like her. No. It's, she, no. She's fantastic. No, I think wh- everyone else that they had lined up yeah. for her role. Yeah, itself. they may have had the attitude, but she just, she brought so much intelligence behind the attitude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. and But she was also smart and sexy and fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and likable, which is really, really, yeah. She was like a very, like, I want to go have a margarita with her. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 100%. Oh, my gosh. Her sarcasm is fantastic. Yes. She would be great on a girl's night. Can oh, you yes. imagine? Oh, my gosh. She'd yes. be amazing. Yeah. So much so She much would fun. shut me up. It would be amazing. <laughs> I imagine that would be Sprinks in human, human form. Who? Your dog, Sprinkles. Oh, her? <laughs> Dude, she's such a bitch. I love my dog. <laughs> But she is. But I can see your dog being like, that's a trick fucking question because they did not start making begging strips until the the fucking first year of 2000s, okay? (laughs) So good. She 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 says it with her eyes. She would. She She would know that too. 1724. 17 by 24. (laughs) My fat ass little dog. They Uh, have a sausage for a dog. (laughs) She's fantastic. She's a (gasps) Chewini. Yeah. That is Ragnar's sausage. Y'all's dog. I don't lick her. She's no, but she's the funny. The, the, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to take it away from y'all's inappropriateness. <laughs> sorry, y'all no, have a sausage that is, dog. Weird, that that is not my sausage dog. That is hers. Ah, so you I've, have a sausage. I've had I've had her since she was like six weeks old. So yeah, the ladies do have dicks. <laughs> Dickless chicks. Sorry. Um, I don't know. Whatever. Back to the movie. <laughs> Um, so when we get into uh, segue, Vinny's courtroom yes. antics, he is able to, the, the boys just don't have faith in him because of his inexperience. Bill is like trying to tell him we're going to go with the public attorney yeah. and or the public defender. We're very sorry. And he's like, I know I can do this. Just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. Let me have one witness. Let me get the first witness. Mm-hmm. And the whole card trick. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When he's talking to him through the card trick, yeah. he's like, N- "Nobody gets anything by a Gambini," mm-hmm. you know. And it's so so great. And so when he gets on the stand, and or he, when he when he goes on the stand, and it's the two Utes. So- <laughs> to what? Is it possible? The two Utes. Uh, uh, to what? To what? <laughs> uh, what was that word? Uh, what word? To what? What? Did you say Utes? Yeah, two Utes. What is a Ute? Oh, excuse me, Your Honor. Two Utes. <laughs> I'm walking here. Is it possible the two defendants entered the store, picked 22 specific items off of the shelves, had the clerk take money, make change, then leave. Then two different men drive up in a similar. Don't shake your head. I'm not done yet. Wait, 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 so you can understand this. You can still hear two the gangster. Two different men which yeah. drive really up fun. in a yeah. similar like, looking car. Punch you in the go in. The fork. Shoot the clerk. Rob him the and then leave. Jeez. I don't no. know. They didn't have enough time. Seems like well, a how much time was they in the store? Five minutes. Five minutes? Are you sure? Did you look at your watch? <laughs> no. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You testified earlier that the boys went into the store and you had just begun to make breakfast. You were just ready to eat and you heard a gunshot. That's That's right. right. I'm sorry. So obviously it takes you five minutes to make breakfast. That's right. Right. So you knew that. Uh, Do you remember what you had? Eggs and grits. Eggs and grits. I like grits too. How do you cook your grits? You like them regular creamy or al dente? (laughs) <laughs> just to fuck with him he yeah, does that so great but he, he persists to tear apart his whole argument mm-hmm. saying that like you can't you can't make grits in, in five, five minutes, minutes. Yes. therefore your your testimony doesn't stand yep and that's where he's so good at the cross-examination because he does it with everybody he does it with the 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 little old lady with the bottle cap glasses mm-hmm. who 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 can't see identify, two foot yeah, in front yeah. Of her. Can't see. 50 she feet identified away from her. The, yeah. them from across the street, but she also can't tell from across the room what how many fingers you're holding up. Mm-hmm. 
he's able to dissect these. And then the guy who positively identified the boys through all of his stuff Filthy in his lawns, window, yeah. all of the pictures yeah. going through the Six windows trees, and the soot trees, and the, bushes. Yeah, the, the, all the leaves on the trees, yes. <laughs> the leaves, the, the bushes, seven and he's counting bushes. the seven bushes, seven yes. bushes. Yeah. That part, that one there was the him, him cross I'm examining done with this guy. Yeah. him, him cross examining every single one was great. Yeah. The first one, you can just see like how confident he is. Yeah. Right. When he's saying that, like, when he's talking about how he cooks his grits, mm-hmm. right? It was like, so, but you used instant grits. Yeah. You know? Yes. Yes. Like, no no respectable Southerner yep. uses no instant grits. No self-respecting Southerner yeah. would you use grit, instant grits. So, so how long does it take? You know, 15, 20 minutes. So yeah. you did not have the time to go look at these individuals, yeah. you know? Yeah. And then the old lady was, the old lady was cute. Yeah. Yeah. She, she was just adorable. Yeah, yeah she's, like, she's like, I've been through six pairs of glasses. Yeah. And this was also her final movie because oh, she passed really? away not long afterwards. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Her name is Pamela something or other. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. And then you had the 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 last one, the mm-hmm. the imbecile. The redneck guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've known a few of those. Yeah. <laughs> um and you get it's funny because he's he's literally going through each individual one. Yeah. You know, it's like coaxing a five year old. Yeah. On how to like, on what to do. Yeah, you know. So how many trees do you see? Yeah, you know how many bushes. What are those things on there? Yeah, you know. It's okay. You can say it. You yeah. know. Mm-hmm. Don't be scared. Yeah, you yeah. know. Just say what's on your mind. Yeah. You know? No, he really did really perfect the art of dissecting the witness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, in such a way as to where not not bullying or anything like that, just like trying to destroy the argument mm-hmm. yeah. uh, of the prosecution, and he did a great, great job. Which is why I think this film is um lauded so much in the uh, in the legal community. But yeah, this it, it's really, really. I just there's again there's so many of these clips. I wish. We could pull, but all we would be doing is just listening to the just movie. The movie. We just play the movie <laughs> for two hours, which on honest, would, I would be I fine with that. But that scene with the two Utes, that's actually based on a, a real conversation between the director, Jonathan Lynn, and Joe Pesci before the film shot. Oh, really? His, the director's British, and he couldn't understand what Joe Pesci was saying. <laughs> so it came up that way. So it got incorporated into the film because of that's that conversation. Yeah. Funny. He's like, nice. couldn't understand what he was saying. That's kind of cool, though. Yeah. <laughs> I love stuff like that. Yeah, that's absolutely. fun trivia. So you know, he's he's trying to win this case for the boys. He doesn't. He's he's dissecting the arguments about the about the witnesses, mm-hmm. but that does not get them off the hook. Yeah. So it comes down to where they're out at the cabin and the biological clock scene, which is just so funny. Okay. What's the matter with you? I don't know. You're acting like you're nervous or something. Well, yeah, I am. What are you nervous about? I'm the one that's under the gun here. The trial starts tomorrow. You want to know what I'm nervous about? I'll tell you what I'm nervous about. I am in the dark here with all this legal crap. I have no idea what's going on. All I know is you're screwing up and I can't help. You lent me a little camera, didn't you? Oh, Vinny, I'm watching you go down in flames and you're bringing me with you and I can't do anything about it. And? Well, I hate to bring it up because I know you got enough pressure on you already. But we agreed to get married as soon as you won your first case. Meanwhile, 10 years later, my niece, the daughter of my sister, is getting married. My biological clock is ticking like this. And the way this case is going, I ain't never getting married. Lisa, I don't need this. I swear to God, I do not need this right now, okay? I got a judge that's just aching to throw me in jail. An idiot who wants to fight me for two hundred dollars, slaughtered pigs, giant loud whistles. I ain't slept in five, five days. days. I got no money, a dress code problem, and a little murder case, which in the balance holds the lives of two innocent kids. Not to mention your biological <laughs> clock, my career, your life, <laughs> our marriage, and let me see. What else can we pile on? Is there any more shit we could pile on to the top of the outcome of this case? Is it possible? Is it? Maybe it was a bad time. (laughs) Maybe it was a bad time to bring (laughs) it. So good. So good. It's funny because you see him grinning. Yeah, his face. At the end of it. Well, when he's sitting there and he's like, like looking at her, like, (laughs) really? You're doing this now? (laughs) I don't have time for foreplay right now. 
Because you know that's how they get it on. Uh, <laughs> so it's just really, really funny. That's okay. But oh then they, goodness, you know, so they funny. end up fighting again. And she's obviously just her heart's in the right place. She wants to be able to help him do this, but yeah. nobody knows what to do. So they go on and through through proceed through the court proceedings. He's looking at one of her pictures and notices the tire treads, yep. the, t- the skid marks. And him also being an automotive guy, because he's worked mm-hmm. in the same shop she has for years and years, he know he knows. He sees it and he's like, here's the proof I need. They already put the the automotive witness on the stand, mm-hmm. which is which a surprise, a surprise witness. It was a surprise witness. And he did make a very clear objection to that surprise witness, which overruled. Sh- it should not have been overruled. Like in a real court proceeding, that's, that was, I was well, surprised yeah, it was like that was one of the actual fo- like legal faux pas in the film, because if he if like that happened in real life and it was overruled, that's pretty much a mistrial. for an appeal mistrial. and a mistrial yeah. yes yeah. yeah so the judge you can't should, just pull he witnesses have, out of nowhere no he yeah. shouldn't it once it was objected to like if they didn't object to it it would have been different but he objected to it therefore it should have been sustained and taken into into consideration mm-hmm. um so that was that was a mistake you know as far as like any very few legal inconsistencies that yeah. was one of them in the and movie and that was to drive up the drama it was and like because it would have been over then like yeah. there's the end of the and there's the movie <laughs> <laughs> the exchange that happens between the automotive expert and um trotter mm-hmm. the 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 prosecutor about the equipment that used the, they used to and analyze it it was actually taken almost verbatim from an actual court transcript um and the witness asked how he had analyzed the evidence and he answered, I have the dual chrome gas chromatograph, Hewlett Packard, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. And the DA was like, does that thing come turbocharged? And the witness actually said only on the floor model. So all that is actually taken from a court transcript. That's funny. That's, so that's interesting. Yeah, that's really, that's I funny. thought that was really funny. How CSI was like introduced early. Like, cause <laughs> yeah, that, that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. A little it's bit. It's forensics. Yeah, it is. It's forensics, which I tried to become work in a forensics office. So did I. Back in Vegas. Oh, so yeah, I didn't go that far. Well, I, I mean, was, I, that's where my hometown was. So yeah. It's not like I was like going to Vegas to do forensics. <laughs> it was I was looking for a job and it sounded fun. I didn't I wasn't really clear on the dead people thing. So that's yeah. when I was like, oh, never mind. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I wanted to I wanted to become a, a, a forensic like medical examiner. Oh, see, yeah, um, I don't do dead. So, so I yeah. Yeah. Because well, I, I went medical. Yeah. So there you go. <laughs> but then I was like, no, nah, I think I'll go and I'll end up dealing with the living. And obviously it worked out. So, yeah, it worked out great. Look at you. Yeah. I can troubleshoot, I can troubleshoot myself. You can. <laughs> You're really good at an- analysis. <laughs> so he, he finds the discrepancy with the, the um, expert witness who's analyzing the tires saying, well, this, these tire tracks were definitely made from the tires on that car. They realize the whole thing with the the testimony. So why don't we go ahead? He calls Mona. He was to, not that good. He calls Mona Lisa to the stand and to give her testimony as a hostile witness. I don't have it. Mona Lisa's testimony? No, I have leaky faucet, two youths, bi- uh, bio clock, deer hunter, prison, and disclosure. There's only six. There should be seven. I only had six. I oh. sent you seven. Damn it. I did to you. And we're back. I said, we have seven clips. Happy face, happy face, happy face. For my cousin Vinny. Yup. I'm finding the clips now. And then I sent you six more. For our listeners, okay. Ron misplaced dun, dun. a clip. All the way up there. That's Go up. That's the beginning of the conversation. That's not my fault. That he you pulled didn't... a man. Yeah. So you need to come spin and then you need to come load because I want to listen to that clip. The text message needs was longer to be than it. five sentences. He forgot the first it's two. It's a freaking testimony mm-hmm. that yep. clears them. You have to have it in here. So, and thank you, listeners. How about we pause real quick? Oh, what, again? <laughs> yes, because you brought it back too early. No, I brought it back because I wanted to hear you yelling at him. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> everybody got to hear you asking to shoot out. Well, there it is. I mean, it's about to get a punishment shot. We need to know why. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to keep recording. All right, then you and, and, and we're, and we're back. back. So you can spin, and then we will play our clip. That is now conveniently here. Was that done by like magic? Magic of editing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Movie magic. Everclear. Enjoy. All right. Do you want to take it out of the penis? No. Okay. Oh. Just ask him. Sure. You don't want to wash the rest of this out? I mean, you could, <laughs> it's all chunky it. cherry. It's only whatever it. in there. Dude, like, no. 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 Hey, hey, shut up and listen. The grenadine and rum would fucking help. No. I'd rather just drink it. Okay. <laughs> just trying to fucking help you out with it. I'm fine with it. Say that now until you're fucking. Now face. say you're sorry. 
<laughs> no. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. I got my punishment right here. Uh, a gentleman would say sorry. I'm sorry, BAC. Wow. Into the mic. And that's your best. It was a just best. saying. I know, which is why I didn't get mad. Stir in the boat. But I'm getting a punishment for it. That was her. She handed it to me. I looked at her. I thought I was being punished. Your wife I, like, was looking for it. I just happened to have it, so I gifted it. That's a two-third vote. Drink it. <laughs> Cheers to BAC. NBAF. We didn't even need Ragnar for that. Nope. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. All, All right. right. On to Lisa's testimony. All right. Here it is. No. No. Wrong one. This is the biological clock one. Try the pink button. You gave me biological clock twice. Did I? Yes. Ruh, so ruh. you fucked up. Oh. Ruh, ruh, raggy. Guess what? I'm looking. You're taking a punishment. Ruh, ruh, raggy. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think I did. Try. All right. Where's the wheel? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Send me that link again so I can find it for you. Okay, hold on. You should have realized that seven of the clips weren't seven different clips, so that's on you. <laughs> It's a combined effort. Are we just going to back and forth wheel for the rest of the show now? Probably, yeah. Seems that way. Good entertainment. One for snow, right. one for run, one for snow, one for Ready? run. Hold on. I No, I got to get the... I'm going to spin myself. Oh, I'm trying to fucking help oh. you out. Oh, Go for nope, it. Nope. Oh, dear God. You stopped it. <laughs> it says grab something yummy. Oh, no. <laughs> no, you fuck. Just fuck off. That you stopped it. That was an accident. No, I was... I was trying to get the mic next to the thing. Well, you haven't got next to <laughs> oh, it. Oh my goodness, that was funny. What is it? What is it? Daddy picks. I'm the daddy. So <laughs> wait, no. Are, 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 are you so sharing it I with Ragnar? Daddy picks all the time. When yeah, I was gonna say. Show. Technically, you're sharing with Ragnar, so Ragnar could be daddy. Yeah. What's my punishment, daddy? That's our two ninety nine a minute content. <laughs> I was about to say. I think that punishment you might get after the show now. <laughs> Are we going barrel? Holy shit, there's a lot happening in that barrel. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see your body break. Have you called me? Oh, Ramchata. Oh, I thought you were good. Great. It <laughs> could be worse. I know, but I've definitely had my fill of penis Ramchata today. So. <laughs> yeah, but it's so yeah. creamy. It doesn't help. Coats the throat. <laughs> you, right. you like it creamy. Cheers. Sorry I sent you the same clip twice, but I did say seven clips, so you should have known better. Oh, and she apologized. All right, so for this next very long-awaited clip. Finally. It's here. <laughs> Lots of the drama. The clip is here. Lots of drama. The clip is here. All right. So, <laughs> oh, Lord. The defense is wrong. Are you sure? Are you sure? I'm positive. I'm positive. They're getting all How sexy. How can you be so <laughs> sure? It's their fault. Because there is no way that these tire marks were made by a 64 Buick Skylock. These marks were made by a 1963 Pontiac Tempest. Objection, Your Honor. Can we clarify to the court whether the witness is stating opinion or fact? This is your opinion? It's a fact. I find it hard to believe that this kind of information could be ascertained simply by looking at a picture. This is cute right Would you here. like me to explain? I would love to hear this. So would I. The car that made these two equal length tire marks had pause attraction. Can't make those marks without pause attraction, which was not available on the 64 Buick Skylark. And why not? What is pause attraction? It's a limited slip differential which distributes power equally to both the right and left tires. The 64 Skylark had a regular differential, which anyone who's been stuck in the mud in Alabama knows. You step on the gas, one tire spins, the other tire does nothing. That's right. Nothing. Is that it? No, there's more. You see, there's when more. the left tire mark goes up on the curb and the right tire mark stays flat and even, mm -hmm. well, the 64 <clears throat> Skylark had a solid rear axle. So when the left tire would go up on the curb, the right tire would tilt out and ride along its edge. But that didn't happen here. The tire mark stayed flat and even. This car had an independent rear suspension. Now... In the 60s, there were only two other cars made in America that had pause attraction and independent rear suspension and enough power to make these marks. One was the Corvette, which could never be confused with the Buick Skylark. The other had the same body length, height, width, 
weight, wheelbase, and wheel track as the 64 Skylark, and that was the 1963 Pontiac Tempest. Tempest. And because both cars were made by GM, were both cars available in metallic mint green paint? They were. Thank you, Ms. Vico. No more questions. Thank you very, very much. You've been a lovely, <laughs> and she is, is cool. she's, she's, like she's like eating there. it up. She's, she's like, so you're proud telling of me herself. I did good. Yeah, she's All like, she wanted know, to do was help him. The good girl. Yeah, that's what, literally. Yeah, like that's she's that's Dobby on her belly showing you her cookie. It is. <laughs> she literally was so happy God. just to be oh helpful. Oh my God! You saw she can like show her cookie if she wants. <laughs> True. But here's the thing. The way that the True. judge looked at her, you would have thought she had shown her cookie to the judge. She's like, yeah. Miss Vito, you, you can go uh-huh. now. I know. So <laughs> impressed. Absolutely impressed. Now, there is a little faux pas in this, though, yeah. because the um, the writer, who was a huge car guy, mm-hmm. said there was only two cars. There was actually three. Did you find the other one? I did. Okay, good. I did. I found the, I found the third. There was a third car in the 60s with Paws Attraction, and it was the Chevy Corvair. Oh, all right. Yeah. Which is not even close to any of those. Yeah, it still wouldn't have fit in the thing. But he literally was like, nobody's going to (laughs) notice. They noticed. Dude, you don't realize that in the future, everybody picks apart everything. Yeah. No. To Welcome analyze to the We saw the clips, my guy. We saw the metal clips. They you could have done better. They did not uh, They did not know about the internet. Yes. So no. it really did change things. And then he had already given the tip to the sheriff to look for this vehicle because yep. he knew which vehicle it was. And they ended up, the sheriff ends up coming on and testifying that they, they found did, it. They did find the kids. They were who actually murdered the clerk. The same vehicle had gun. They in had the gun. Yep. And they were found where? Jasper, Georgia. Jasper County, Georgia, which is where Brody was born. Yep. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. There's the connection. I told you, Brody had yeah. connection. He That's was born funny. in the ho- in, ja- in the hospital up there. Yep. That's cool. So that was literally ten minutes from where we lived. <laughs> That's yeah. funny. Yeah. That's, That's funny. Yeah. So I, I I find that very hilarious. But, but yes, this movie is fantastic. It, discrepancy though with it. So in the very beginning, right? They're going down the road. Yeah. They don't have their top on up. No. Their top is still covered. Their top is down. They do. Okay. They mention the metallic w- gr- mint green convertible with, with the, the white, white top. top. You never see the white top up. No, nope. ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and it's covered. Yeah, it has the cover on it. Yeah. So how exactly do they know that is the car? That's fair. You know, yeah, it's fair. But in the photos, it shows the car with, with the top up. with the top on. Yeah, mm-hmm. and shit. But like when they initially because it was got, an eight pound. <laughs> yeah, but like when they initially got arrested, the top is down. It's covered, so you have no idea. That it's a metallic green yeah. uh, car with a white convertible top. Yeah. Oh, that's the thing. That's the movie. That's great. They're gonna drive back to New York and get married or not. It don't <laughs> doesn't know. But this movie is fantastic. Um, and yeah, I have no other notes. So what what do y'all think? I just wanted to say he has such a fucking unromantic way of asking her to marry him at the end. So I guess we're getting married now. Yeah. No, no, I'm not gonna marry you. Yeah. I was thinking next weekend. No, what? I want a romantic. I want a church. I want flowers. I want church. Yeah. 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 And he's just like, eh, driving. <laughs> That's the vibe I catch. He's like, eh, let's go see Elvis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he, she's always uh, talking about spontaneity. Yeah. Being mm-hmm. spontaneous. You know? She's like, That's a burp romantic. is spontaneous. That's a burp is not romantic. romantic. <laughs> so yeah. great. But yes, oh, this, I love this movie is, is fantastic. 10 out of 10 recommends. Oh, definitely. All right. Why don't, um, if you guys don't have anything, um, I think we can go into the reviews. Who's starting us out? With- <laughs> I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Who's starting us out with stolen tuna cans? Why don't you start out? We'll do the tuna cans as the rating system. Oh, I get started. I'm going to give it a um, four tuna cans. Sweet. Nice. 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 Very good. Very funny. And for somebody who doesn't like comedies, it's it's a really good film. Yeah. Like to to this day, I still can't get over the scene where he lands face first in the mud after trying to push the car and he's like, Honey, <laughs> what was in the pink bag in the trunk? <laughs> oh, it's your suit. I thought I'd get it clean for you. Nice clean suit. It's- that he just threw in the mud yep. yeah. in that Georgia red clay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's a very good film. Very he, well done. And he yeah. shows up in the uh, the old, like, 60s, 70s tuxedo. He's like a magician's tux. I see it. He's like a magician's tux. Yes, yeah. yeah, it's like either a red I velvet like, magician's tux. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep, either I look like a black man with a, per- a perm from, like, the, the 30s or 50s. Like, Cat Williams. 
Yeah. <laughs> like original Cat yeah, Williams. Yeah. Or I come in wearing leather. Your pick, sir. Yep. <laughs> I wore this thing for, for you. You. <laughs> <laughs> you mocking me, boy. <laughs> so good. It's great. It's yeah. great. Let me think. Oh, I really, really love this movie. And again, cannot say enough about Pesci and Tomei and their whole dynamic. It is a super fun movie. It's so well written. I am going to also go with four tuna cans. Sweet. Four tuna cans. Um, it's like you said, it's so quotable. The lines are amazing. Tomei knocked it out of the park. Yes. She is by far my favorite favorite freaking character i love her level of sass i love her level of just like what is it that she's like oh you want me to do that and like she's so like sarcastic yeah. about it like blowing him up and yeah. she's like great and it's like, like you are you are <laughs> she's like knock it off <laughs> yeah when they first get into town yes. and he's like you just don't fit in and she's like oh you blend yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> it's so good she's okay. so catty it's great Oh, and and oh, and and You're the so whole thing. Smart. It's so great. It's just felt freaking fantastic. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna happily say four four cans of tuna. Awesome. All right. The Ragnar. Ragnar. Oh boy, I'm gonna go with five. Yeah. Oh. Uh, it's to me. This is like one of those movies. It's a fucking classic, and there's a reason that it's. I, I, I don't know. Would you say it's a, almost a re- fucking requirement for uh, for a fucking, cinephile for law school? I th- I, I've heard it. Yeah, I've heard. I've heard. Okay. I've heard that about it. Like, so if if it is a for this kind of movie, if it's a fucking requirement for law school students to watch yeah. on how to actually litigate, yeah, you know, and actually how to treat a trial, then that is absolutely fucking amazing because there's nothing serious about this movie. No, mm-hmm. you know, it's a fucking comedy. It is. And the fact that it can do, it can make the top 25 at number three Yes, for this fucking movie yeah. for what it is, yeah. you know, and like the chemistry that Pesci and Tomei had in this movie is freaking amazing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, like he's, he's wanting to do everything himself, but like she wants to help. He doesn't know how. And the amount of shit that she gives him. Yeah. Is fucking amazing. It was real. Yeah, it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. it was a real relationship. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know, and she's amazing. I know. She is. <laughs> I don't care. I know. Aww. It's okay. She's amazing. <laughs> He's got little little heart eyes. If I, I was I if I if I was into the ladies, I would untie I agree. Like no, if I was into the ladies, hot. I would I would totally be into it. Yeah. She's yes. smoking hot. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. We get you good. You did a very good job. I'm proud of you. On what? On the show. Oh, thank this. you. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's life. Sakes. Just in life. In yeah, crying. You know, in crying you know. on the show. You did a very good job with the baby slot. Don't talk about the baby slot. <laughs> don't fucking so break so down again. Just having to take a commercial break. We don't break. say S L O T H S. We also can't spell it. I know. T H S. Don't. Girl. No, wait. I'm halfway to tearing up. Way to the- <laughs> so, what do you got? Okay. I, the I wish I had a slot. All right. Yeah, I- right. <laughs> tuna cans. Tuna cans. Tuna cans. Not baby sloth. Fishy no. meat. Fishy meat. You're not allowed to say that. <laughs> a fucking mess. I know. Um, oh, no. <laughs> Are we doing this? No, we're not. Um, I gotta say, I love this movie. Uh, I love this I'd movie. Like, I'd like to thank the sloths. Uh, no, um, this movie's fantastic. It's a ten out of ten recommend. It is. It it like it's 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 one of those. It's a comedy. It's not like the, you're not gonna laugh the entire way through. But there's just so much really. It's got great writing. Yes, and it's one of the movies that I think has one of the best dialogues. Yeah. Um. Between so many different characters, so many different interactions are just memorable. Yes. And all of them did really, really well. Mona Lisa is fantastic. <laughs> Vinny's a fantastic character. Their dynamic is so fun. And as somebody who is long married, I, I just love watching it. Yeah. <laughs> it is we good. we, we good. quote each other to this. Aww. So I have to give it super, super high praise. 
solid. I, I'm going to give it a four and a half because there's a lot of like technical inconsistencies mm-hmm. throughout the filming. <laughs> His face <But> clips. <laughs> <laughs> the face clip, like her nail, her nail paint changes oh, does in it? the same scene, frame to frame. Oh, like really? there's just That's like funny. you can tell something was shot on one day and on another day, and they just meshed it together. But the movie is beautiful. It's done so very well. There's it's just genius writing. Um, I, I really do absolutely adore this movie and, and everybody in it. And I'm so glad that we finally got to do this. We've been trying to do this one for months, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but all kinds of misscheduling and stuff. So I'm so glad. Thank you very much, babe, for being on it. Yes. Thank you, thank for you guys up. for having me. I Thanks love for it. being our first guest. Yes. Woo. This has been awesome. This has been fun. We're definitely going to have more boy guests on yes. the show. The next one will be, uh, Ron, the Ron, on. Prince of Thieves, Prince of Thieves. Yep. Yep. And it's going to be good. We're uh, looking forward to it. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Yes. And um, giving us encouragement and feedback and love as our show grows and progresses. We're super excited. Yes. Um, you guys everybody. are doing really good. Hello, Thank Spotify you. listeners. Yes. Yeah. Everybody. And, and Apple Cast and Google Cast. Check out the BAF boys. Yes. They're so fun. And we always pop on randomly and we'll torment them during their show. So listen to both. Yes. And uh, shoot us some love on Instagram. We yes. love to hear from our our fans. We love it. We do because it um it really helps. Yeah, us, and it lets us like, know how we're doing. Our show. Mm-hmm. So let's know Keeps how we're doing. Going on here. Yeah, but thank you so much. Yes. And let us know what you think. Thank you. And uh, this was super fun. And you did amazing snow. Thank you. So good. And uh, we're gonna roll on out. Thank you for listening, guys, and have a good night. Hi, this is Snow. Thanks for listening to our podcast, Barrel Age Chicks. It's 2023 and the chicks are here. We are so excited to share our future episodes of Barrel Age Chicks, FMK, and Slasher Gal Pals. We hope you are enjoying our shenanigans as much as we do. Give us a follow on Instagram at Barrel Age Chicks. If you like the gals to do a fan request, contact us on Instagram and we will give you a personal shout out on the show. Our podcast is available on Anchor, Spotify, Apple, Google, iHeartRadio, and Good Pods. Swag available through the link on Instagram. Please check it out and thank you for your support. Special thanks to Carl Casey at White Bat Audio for his kick ass music. He is amazing. Also, please grab a listen to the guys at Barrel Age Flicks Podcast. If you like booze, hilarity, and movies, check them out. Also, check out our network and other amazing podcasts at deluxeeditionnetwork.com. Bye till next time and thanks for listening to our show. The party's leaving!